Calm down. Well, I think we're good. Welcome uh, to the not another so movie podcast. It's so obvious when you start the. It's so I clicked. Oh, I clicked. I clicked. Right. I clicked. Start, I think you're like, good. I think yeah, you're good. Hey, 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 shut up! Every time we start one of these, he's like monotone and fucking like. All right, guys, are we yeah. good? Are we good? Are yeah, we good? play it up are for the good? camera. You and know it, what I'm saying? It, yeah. Well, you play it up like a. See, but I'm bitch. doing. I'm doing the long con, so. You think you got it next time, but you're not gonna have it next time. He also does this where he says shit that doesn't even make any sense. So. (laughs) (laughs) Welcome to the Movie Podcast, episode 31. We're missing the. uh, You know how like they had us stabbed our our podcast in half. No, no, no. You know, you know how uh, a bicycle for kids has the training wheels. Oh yeah, we got rid of them. We're just so. (laughs) (laughs) You know, you know how uh, some meat has fat on it. Yeah, well, what are you trying to say? All prime meat, baby. All right, I'm Adrian. Yeah. That's Gore. Yeah. Gore. Gorkis has the, for, the former artist, artist known as Gore. Gore I can't speak. <laughs> uh-huh. I try. I try to say Gorkis. <laughs> I'm Holy really shit. tired. I've been uh. I've been, a, I've been fucking uh writing papers all day, which I'm gonna just get right back to when we're done with this podcast. Um. Right. Yeah. So uh. The rest of the crew's gone. Kyle's fucking lost in the middle of uh, wilderness, California, probably right now. He's dead. He and uh, Casey's, Casey's working. Yeah, he's blowing dudes in the alley. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> no, I'm blowing dudes away. Magic with, with his bad skills. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, magic tricks. <laughs> oh, it was magic tricks. <laughs> All right. Um, so... It's kind of a quiet week, but not really. I think there's a lot of shit we're gonna no. talk about. I got. I'm gonna pull up. We're talking a lot of end game shit. That's for sure. A lot of no, stuff. A lot of stuff happened. A lot of end game. Yeah, we're talking we a lot. Talk of a lot we could talk a lot of end game when the movie's about. Well, to be I mean, we're, we got this is like the last bit of it, so we got some of this to talk about. That, that, we got a lot of stuff to talk about with with that. Um, but we also got Pet Cemetery and Shazam. We're gonna talk about Shazam in, in depth. Uh, and then we got some trailers. We got the Stuber trailer, Joker, Dead Don't Die, and Hellboy. Uh, we don't need to talk about the Hellboy one. I, I want to talk about the Hellboy one. All right, fine. <laughs> <laughs> By the time this uh, podcast comes out, a movie comes out in two days. So. Fine, it doesn't matter. Um, it's not even a trailer, it's a sizzle reel. Is that the movie next week? Yep. Okay. Hellboy. Uh, hell yeah. We'll and see. then uh, we'll see if hell yeah. <laughs> I hope, but uh, yeah, and then uh, not nothing really big in news, but we'll see what we go with. Um. So we'll start off with our spoiler talks on Shazam and Pet Cemetery. I think we're gonna go more in depth with Shazam. So do you want to start with Pet Cemetery instead? Uh, no. Let's do Shazam. Okay. Let's just start with Shazam because Pet Cemetery is gonna be quick because you didn't watch the original and. Oh wait, hold on. Let me get my. You book. pull out a dead cat right now. <laughs> and you... No. I when I have, if I have a dead cat. I get rid of it. I don't fucking try to bring it back in some dumb. You're weak if you don't bring now. back your dead pet, dude. You're weak. Oh yeah, I'm weak. You're weak. No, I'm I'm strong. That's why I get rid of a fucking cat when it's dead. And I'm like, oh no. No, you're My weak cat. if you're like, oh, they're, they're trying to kill me. Like Cats already scratch the shit out of you. Like, All right, let's this is general. Let's talk, let's talk pet cemetery. <laughs> Cats already trying to scratch the shit out of you in general. Like, no. you're I, weak if you're afraid of it now. You know what I'm saying? First of all, you're making things up. Because I don't, I haven't been around a cat in ten years, and the last time I was, I was the king in that bitch. <laughs> All right, I was the king of the jungle, not some fucking cat. I roughed that cat up, talk that shit. I'm, I'm sure your 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 lame ass is sitting on the room. couch. Your lame ass sitting on the couch with a bag of Cheetos, looking at this cat like, yeah, fuck you. <laughs> well, was it? Yeah, fuck you. <laughs> Greasy ass bitch. Yeah. Here. Um, looking like the, the cat in this movie when he comes back to life, he's all fucking <laughs> matted up hair and looking like one eye's lazy. <laughs> Did you see the uh, the news articles of of the uh, cats on set? Yeah, I didn't see the any pictures or anything. There I were a couple like, pictures, but there there were like they divas on set. Three cats or whatever. They were like actual divas. Like the, yeah. they they would just stand around, do whatever they want, like sniff around the entire set, and they'd make the actors wait on them. Yeah, I mean, they, to be fair, the, the cat in this movie didn't do shit besides sit there and look at things. Did the cat do more in the original? Yeah, a little bit because that's, most that's of the probably time because they like didn't a, have. It was, uh, like a, it was a fake ass cat. That's why. Oh, most I was gonna say if it was a real cat, it was probably because like, oh, they, they probably didn't have uh, animal pet laws to fuck. It, it, I mean, it was a real cat, but there's times whenever it did some, it'd be, it'd be obviously fake. Yeah, you know, if it jumped at somebody or like 
had to look demonic. Yeah, I mean, this one, just, they, I mean, he looks cracked out, sure, but... Uh, I'm, you yeah. know what I'm tired of? I'm tired. We got fucking Captain Marvel, Pet Cemetery, all these fucking cats. Just give me John Wick, dude, where the do dog strike back. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's fucking go for the, the balls. Oh, yeah. You know what would be cool? If there's a scene in John Wick where there's like a dog versus cat. Like, you know, cat, cats and dogs. Cat. Cats and dogs. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Remember that scene, in cats and dogs, where the cat's trying to make the dog look like the bad guy by putting like fake shit on the carpet? Remember that? Things I, I remember. I vaguely remember that. <laughs> See, well, I remember movies. Stay tuned to uh, next week when we discuss the cats, uh, and dogs. cats and dogs. Yeah. It's not cats versus dogs. It's cats and dogs. Even though they do verse each other, so they should just call it cats versus dogs. It's cats, cats and dogs. Cats v. Dogs. Dawn, cats of, v Dawn dogs. of Justice. <laughs> yeah, Civil War. Or... Uh, yeah, Civil they're Civil War, right? Um, yeah. So yeah, this is this was my first time watching uh, anything Pet Cemetery, and this is obviously the remake of a movie that I, I'm, I heard was shitty. Yeah, it's not, it's not a very good movie. I don't know why. You know, some people were just like, "Oh my god, it's just like they ruined the original with this movie." I was like, "No, no I think the original ruined it fucking self <laughs> by being not very good." I like the original, but it's not a good movie. Like, right. And people that like that movie, they always quote the same shit, but it's all stuff that was, of course, from the the novel. Like, you know, dead is better and all that stuff. Um, but well, what was the soil like, one? They also talk about like uh, like the bad acting, like there's a kid in the movie that's really terrible and stuff like that. So anyway, what, what kid? A, oh, what kid was it? Is the Gage kid in this one? There was a kid in. in he, he was older, we'll talk, right? No, no, oh, he we'll was younger. I, okay. Well, he might have been like a couple years older, but we'll, we'll talk about it. It's not not a big difference, but uh, we'll talk about because that's one major change from the original from this one. Um. So wait, what was the famous line? You said <laughs> the ground is sour. Jerry. The ground is sour. Which he does, uh, he does say that in this movie. Too. Right, because you asked uh, Kyle if he I said that. Kyle, he said he no. Said no. <laughs> what the fuck, yeah? <laughs> See, that motherfucker doesn't pay attention to shit. Because the one character, and it's funny because one character says the ground is sour, and then another character says the ground is bad, and then the other character goes, no, 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 it's sour. Like, he yeah. corrects him. I was just like, motherfucker, how do you, I asked you a question. And... So he obviously only heard the middle part. <laughs> Yeah, because in the trailer he says the ground is bad. I was like, no, that's right. not the quote, bitch. So what what do you think of the movie? Because I'm, I'm hearing mixed things. I probably liked it just as much as the original. I mean, I like the original. I I, I could see it being, sh you know, a, technically not a good movie, but it was back in 1989 that came out. So you have to, it's 30 years old. And I don't think really, th this is kind of a hard movie for like an older or like like for a movie like that to be made back then. I think. Yeah. Mm hmm. Like I think if they made a movie like uh, Stephen King adaptations, like, like Gerald's Way would have been a good movie for back then. I think that would have been an easy enough way to convert. But I think Pet Cemetery has so much going on for it that it would have been kind of harder back then. By the way, Gerald's Game. He said Gerald's Way. Oh. Gerald's game. <laughs> oh why did I say Gerald's no, Way? Don't worry, we don't have people that correct us anyway, so you don't need to worry about it. So I have to be the one that does it. You're the YouTube uh, comments, and you and I'm sure you'll correct me when I fuck something up. Which just you just wait, just wait till we get popular one day, and then yeah. Uh... Yeah. But, so anyway, Pet Mortuary. Ah, oh, fuck. Um. By the way, one thing I do want to say about Pet Cemetery is that, um, the original, when it comes to the Pet Cemetery, the actual Pet Cemetery, um, it it, it has like a creepy vibe to it. That's like much more 80s and i feel like this one tries to do that that's why i didn't give a fuck about the cemetery part this, this, yeah, well, there was the nothing cemetery is not even the part that brings them back to life it's right but it, there was prison. nothing there was nothing creepy about the cemetery and then like the entire walk there the only part that was actually like maybe a little creepy was the wendigo part the wendigo part yeah that's really yeah. good um, we'll get to that also, but, uh, yeah, but in the original, like it, if you watch it now, it's not scary, but back then, like they do the same thing that this one tries to do with the smoky, like fog and stuff like that, but it, it worked for the eighties. Like, it, I mean, it's close to closer to the nineties. Also not to interrupt, but obviously we're doing spoilers right now. Yeah. You said, you said that already. <laughs> I said at the beginning. Okay, I'm not sure. uh, you said Shazam and, uh, Pet spoiler Center, talk. Spoiler okay. Discussion. I wasn't, I wasn't sure if we did. Um, yeah, that's yeah. all right. I'll put it in the tags. But, um, yeah, no, it it had some vibes to it. Uh, this how the movie was short, but if it kind of dragged, I would say it dragged in the beginning. Yeah, and for sure in what, the beginning. What's weird, what's weird about it is that it, it like it feels like Cliff Notes. I never read the book, right? Uh, but I do know a lot about the book, and I know there's a lot of stuff they leave out in both of these versions. The original version, they they kept a couple of things in, like there's a couple of backstories about like uh, what's his name, Judd. 
Oh, I'm um, sure he he looks like, the kind of person that would be a, a much larger character in a novel. Yeah, from what I heard, he he is, and in the original movie, he has this whole backstory about like he knew somebody that was brought back, and they had like uh, the town kind of like went after that person after finding that finding out that he it was brought back to life from the pet cemetery, so they like, burned down the house or whatever. Here, it's just like it, it just, it, did they replace that with the dog? Huh? Did they replace that story with the dog? Yeah, I think so. I don't remember the dog part, but even in here, when he mentions the dog, it's not like it's like oh, I had a dog and I brought him back, and we had to put him down again. Right. In, the, in in the original, when he's talking about this guy, I forgot his name, Billy or something like that. Uh, he's talking about some guy, and it goes into flashback, so you see the guy getting brought back. He's like eating a leg at one point and Same. stuff like that. So, so it's fucking zombie just, shit. Yeah, they, they pretty much act like zombies. Except they they're more like. I get like rage. Mo- you know, you ever saw you saw Overlord, right? Yeah. You know how they kind of act like when they br- get brought back and they're all like rage monsters. Right. pretty much. That's kind of what they act like in the original. Um, and they kind of act like that here, too, to a lesser degree. I mean, they're, they're, they're dicks. That's for sure. And they want to kill, but they don't they're not freaking out. Um, right. So uh, there's some changes. Sure. Uh, the ending is a complete completely yeah. different. And also who dies is completely different. That's what I heard. Yeah. So in the original movie, again, I'm spoiling that movie too. The original movie, it's the it's Gage who dies, the little kid, and I think he's like three or four in the original. Right. Here he's two. Um. So. Which and, makes that ending, the, like the last scene, very fucking, very rough. Yeah, it is rough. It's a, it's a pretty rough ending because because I mean everybody's probably like happy that oh good we don't get this we don't need to see a three or four year old or. And then you remember the ver- the first scene of the movie is uh the door open. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, it's, and you see the bloody handprints. Yeah. So, I mean, it makes sense, but um, yeah. So it, it's a good like. I, I like the beginning actually. Uh, we'll get to that in a second too. Um, but yeah, no, I, I really, I really like the change because uh, the the kid being the one that gets killed and that brought back and kills the 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 family. Uh-huh. Uh, in the original, it worked for it being an 80s movie but it won't work now watching a like a a three-year-old kid right like three or four-year-old kid uh i know he's supposed to be two in the movie but uh, that, that, that reminds me of us playing gang beast last night oh yeah oh yeah yeah, yeah. yeah that kid roughed us up uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah but anyway the i you can't really do that in a movie and to be honest even what they did uh with who actually does die and come back uh ended up being kind of kind of similar in it's a still, way. it's still. She came out. She's still too young for me to like yeah. completely buy the fact that she yeah. would just come back and do that. And and they kind of leaned in. Like it, it was all right. Like I was kind of buying. I was like, all right, that's fine. I can deal with it. I think the only part that started making me kind of giggle was uh when they held her down and she did the whole the stereotypical horror thing where she started moving really fast. Yeah, yeah. And, that, I was like, that all right, guys. Little... and also just him fighting a little nine year old kid and getting his ass beat a little right. bit. It's like, it's. I get it. She's supposed to be like, you know, she. Undead powers or some shit. I don't know, but uh, it's Stephen King. Uh, so, when to go powers, I guess. So, uh, I think the beginning, even though it felt slow, it definitely could have been. It could have been fleshed out more. I uh, yeah, I, I, I don't agree. quite. I don't quite like the beginning where they first show the dead guy talking to uh, to the oh, husband because it was yeah, like uh, Victor. Yeah, because I, I it Victor just Pascal. Yeah, because it just doesn't. It it feels weird that like. We yeah. just met this character, and we don't know his backstory. He's a doctor, so, I mean, I feel like he's not... Did he, that wasn't his first time as a doctor, right? Like, I'm sure... That no, he, no, no. He moved to a different place, and then he just worked at that place. Right, right? so then why yeah. why is all of a sudden this guy dying? Which, also, that motherfucker was, like... <laughs> sorry, it wasn't, like, a close call death. That motherfucker was dead, like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that that guy was was Ooh, not living through as, that. As one of the terrible supporting actresses uh, says in the movie, you could see his brain... <laughs> Yeah, in which case, brain. also you're a, you're a nurse too. Like I'm not trying to fucking like. Well, hide, they, hide. they live in a quiet place. That's fair. Like that, that's that's also what I was thinking. But but okay. The, but that's all right. Let's back out of that I, then. I think Jason Clark handled it pretty well. You know, I mean, he, no, I mean, no, no. He was like, oh, oh, oh. No, he, he did. No, 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 no. He did. I don't get why that's a thing though. You know what I'm saying? Is I don't get yeah. why. Uh, why is it all of a sudden that this guy that's obviously dead that you lost on the table as a doctor, unless you described it as your first? Did they at least throw a line in there like? That was my first loss, you know. I can't handle that or something like that. And it's like, okay, I kind of get that, but they didn't insinuate that whatsoever. There was no traces of that. It's like, hey, this guy just lost this guy that was half eaten, and he's like, oh, I can't believe I didn't save him. 
I think it was mainly because he, he thought it would be a new start. Like, it's going to be quiet there. And literally, like, the second day, a fucking guy comes in with the most horrific head wound you've ever Which seen. Which you ain't, you ain't allowed <laughs> to bitch about when, uh, when literally all he was complaining about, like, five seconds prior was, oh, I got to look at another sore throat or something like that. I remember. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> like, yeah. Sorry, you, well, can't, you, think, you can't be, like, that, yeah, I was like, you can't be complaining about that. And then you get some fucking, you get I some mean, hype yeah. shit going on. I, <laughs> I, I bet he just wanted, you know, like a scraped knee or something. He didn't want no scraped brain. <laughs> yeah. But, I mean, uh, that, I was that, pretty rough, man. That <laughs> seemed look, weird. I, and to be fair, that character is the same in the original, too. Yeah, so I bet. That, that's, I understand that. And he's in the book, too. So it is that character. They always have that character that introduces the main character to the supernatural. Uh, and he pretty much does because he's just like, oh, don't go there. That's where the dead walk. You know, ground is sour. And he invades his dreams. And yeah, I, I didn't. It felt too rushed. It didn't feel like there was a build yeah. to that. I agree, but I, it makes sense in the way that like it's supposed to be the, the dead. The, it's pretty much supposed to be the supernatural telling them not to do this shit. Right. But also in a way, also telling them to do it. Right. In a way, they're, they're, they're introducing them, but like kind of poking at them to to do it. Um, to do it, but don't do it. It's like it's like a battle between like two different like in the original. It's a little bit easier to understand because Victor Pascal is is a major character in the original. Like in this one, he only shows up like four times, and whenever he does, this was like, "Yo, man, it's a, the, the sour ground is sour. Don't go there." Right, and it felt weird. Why don't you go there? Like, what? um, so I will say, I think, I think, and I'm obviously not knowing it, but I mean, it was it's still obvious. But I think the only thing that I had in my mind was uh, when you and Kyle were talking about it, because Kyle watches the movie early, and you mentioned uh, I know you were trying to avoid the spoiler, saying, "Does that major thing, the major reoccurring thing, still happen?" And Kyle was like, "What the truck killing? Yeah." And I was like, oh, okay, so obviously yeah. someone's going to fucking die from that truck. That's uh, a weird, it's such a, well, well, in the trailer, they spoil it. Oh, no, 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 oh, yeah, you know what, is, uh, the, it was the second trailer, right? Yeah, the second yeah. trailer. Yeah, so you know, I, 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 I saw the original, I, I, that's one of the most, like, not spoiled, but that's one of the most known scenes right. in, like a, in a horror movie from the 80s. So, for some reason, I wasn't even thinking about it being a spoiler. But you know what, is <laughs> I was reading, legit a spoiler. I was like, reading, uh, um, the Reddit thread on it, and yeah, yeah, some guy's like, you know what? I'm fucking done with Hollywood, motherfucker. That second trailer ruined the goddamn movie Dude, for that's me. That's an hour into the movie that happens. You know, <laughs> and like... that reminded me of the Castaway trailer. Oh, they, uh, they show him come back. <laughs> well, they show literally the entire movie, literally the entire movie from the from, like. Yeah. There's there's final scenes in the whole movie in that trailer. Yeah, like, and it was like, yeah, they're showing time. they're showing like everything that happened, and it's like, and it's not even like, it's not even like subtle about it, which like you know. If 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 that shit happened like in the first third of the movie, whatever. But like they're showing like battles with the girl, and I'm like that girl, that that battle with like the little girl was like the last twenty minutes of the movie. Yeah, yeah, and then that's weird. I thought maybe that's what they're doing. Maybe they're gonna make it so that it happens way earlier in the movie, and they have to deal with her being back way longer. Because nope. I, I think that would be more interesting if she comes back and she's not like she's not. I, I really movie. like those vibes, dude. Like I, I they could have played off that some. I think this movie would have been a lot stronger if it had been just like yeah. You're dealing yeah. with this daughter that's like kind of fucked up. She's not quite there, and then yeah, we've had and that. That's not a unique. To be much more that's not a later. unique, uh, a, a unique uh, idea. But you know, it's like yeah. there's 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 a lot to work with there, and I think it would be it would make if she came back and she was normal and slowly progressed more even. Which like... they did. They kind of did for a second, but uh, I don't it, know. When she showed up, she was already like fucking looking at the the, the, the dead eye, right? The the, the yeah. drop the droopy eye, but yeah. uh. No, you know what would have been cool is like, I, I, like I said, I when they remake these kind of movies, I feel like that that's liberty for you to fuck around with the the, the movie a bit, you know, kind of mess with that. I would have liked the progression of like if he kept doing it to more of his family, like the girl dies, maybe Gage dies next, you know, and he's like, all right, well I'm gonna bring him back too, and then slowly it's just him alone, you know, in the house, and everyone's just dead. I think that well, would have been kind of a cool, uh, a cool that's... um idea with it, you know. Well, that's how the original movie ends. Actually, it's a. Well, that's how it ends. It's like uh, the cat dies, then Gage dies in the original. Uh, here it's Ellie, the girl, I, which I don't even remember if she's even a character in the original. I, I don't remember. I don't think she is. I, she could be. I don't know. But um, I think she is. I, I, don't, I, I do not remember the daughter at all character. So if she was in that, I do not remember her. Um, but then, then the wife dies and he brings her. That's why in this new one, she says, do not bring me to that pet cemetery and resurrect me or whatever. Uh, it's supposed to be like a like a like a joke, kind of like how the the first movie ended with him bringing her to resurrect her right. as well. Um, this movie, uh, it's weird because this movie 
has a I think a way better ending. I like the ending. I think I like exactly. I, I was super satisfied with the way it ended. I think that was that was. Well, I should say. I think it was cut a little too short. Yeah, no, no. I should say, yeah, no. I'm satisfied with the final shots of the, of the movie. Yeah, which the final shot is also the beginning shot. I feel like if you if the beginning shot is definitely should be more of a final shot, um, because I mean the the door, like you said, the door opening. Now after you watch the movie and you 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 see the door open with. The I think I think a, on it. a stronger idea would have been to flip the shot and and show Gage in the car still without anything like modify with it to show him looking out of the car and like kind of pan towards it you know like flip it from whose perspective it was where it was like right. the perspective was was looking from behind the car into the house i think it would have been better from the family's view walking right. towards the car i think that would have been good also the t- like the time doesn't make any sense to me because the first time they go to the pet cemetery with judd um he, uh, it took it takes them like all night to do it Right? Don't they go far into the woods and they dig a whatever? Dude, I would have been fucking lost <laughs> the way yeah. they were walking. Well, I get when it's like one of the dead bringing somebody to life. Like, you know, the daughter bringing the wife, I mean, the the mother back to life. I get that. She probably knows exactly where it is. But dragging that body and like, I, by the time they got back to Gage, wasn't it still night out? I'd be like, no, no, no. It, it, was, it was like. It was day? It was like the morning, you know, when the morning comes up. Okay, and, oh, it's yeah. dusk. Yeah. Okay, okay. I don't remember. It, it's not dusk. It's it's I, not called not dusk, dusk, but you know what I'm saying. No, yeah, I know what you mean. No. Yeah, it was like bright out, but not quite 100%. Okay, yeah, I get you. But I feel like, like I don't know. I guess it doesn't really matter. It's not a big deal. But uh, this is like little inconsistencies. Like, I feel like they, they, Gage should have been in that car for a whole day before all of them showed up back reanimated and back from wherever the hell they were, um, that one little burial site. Um one another thing I, I have I don't have a problem with uh, I just think is not as good as the original is uh, the guy that plays uh, Judd in this John Lithgow because you said he was creepier in the last one right that oh yeah kind of he's creepy but he actually he, he also he's a I mean he's creepy but that's only because the guy the actor is kind of creepy looking just a little bit so it's not really the character's uh, character being creepy I mean he says some creepy stuff don't get me wrong but uh, the, the original actor does a good job of like being kind of mysterious about the whole pet cemetery thing you can't tell if he if he really likes it or not this is again this is what i remember yeah you know i i don't think he was developed enough with um what's her name ellie yeah i don't think he was developed enough with her to like have this this sort of like idea to come back on everything you know he just felt like it, for someone that that obviously had history with the pet cemetery, it was uh, yeah. With the wife, also you that's revealed later that right. It was like you. I don't. I feel like you wouldn't have just like went gung ho about that unless you were absolutely like the, the, That's where that's see. That's where it would have been like there was a lot of like lacking character development that you could have easily thrown in the background. Like in his house, they should have shown like a bunch of like empty liquor bottles. I mean, like obviously this guy's lonely, you know. And maybe this this family yeah. being here would have been like he really needs. He just needs to like. For them to be okay, for him to be okay, like stuff like right. that could have been so much easier. And not you know, you had to add mo- minutes to the movie. That's just stuff you throw in the background. But right. they just didn't, and and it felt it felt kind of jarring that you couldn't pick that up. Like that that's why like fucking movies like Mad Max Fury Road's like some of the greatest because the background tells you everything you need to know. You don't need to know shit. Mm-hmm. Isn't it tell you like oh we've been you know we've been desperate for this for how many years. There's right. a, there you see people fucked up faces. It doesn't even exp- it doesn't explain the faces. You're just like, oh, you know they've just been fucked up. Right, right, right. And yeah. it just, it, movies just don't do that a lot, and and, and it yeah, sucks. You don't, you don't you don't need to know why Furiosa has one missing arm. You don't, yeah, right? and they don't. And I'm so fucking glad they didn't tell you because that that yeah. that's the best thing. And you know, I'm kind of upset. Well, and, the prequel that, it, comic does. Right, I'm like, yeah, but fuck that. Uh, ooh. Um, I'm uh, and then I'm, I was kind of upset when they were first talking about a sequel, which is obviously not going to happen. But uh, they're talking about just making a Furiosa sequel. I'm like, no, don't touch yeah. that anymore. Just drop it. It's good. We're done. Perfect. Yeah, yeah. I think I think I think it's perfectly fine. I mean, I would like to see another Mad Max. Movie. Oh, I don't want another Mad Max with Tom <laughs> Hardy. I I don't want to see Furiosa anymore. As much as I fucking love her and think she's amazing, yeah. I like that it's dropped. Moving on. Yeah, because it ended perfectly for her. Like Mad Max is such a. Blank character. I, that's my that favorite he, movie he of all time, dude. He could always show up. He could be in the next Avengers, and it doesn't even matter. But, He's so yeah. good, dude. Yeah, yeah. It's like she went under the wheels. Oh man, that's one of my, that's, favorite, that's... One of my favorite quotes. What? I said she went under the wheels. Uh, that that's that's my favorite movie of all time, and like I fucking yeah, love that movie. 
Definitely fucking love that movie. Anyway, <laughs> Pet Cemetery. Anyway, um, Pet Cemetery. It's not as no. good. There, there's a lot of very missed opportunities, but uh, but what, what was the scene? What was the fucking line I saw at the beginning when I was seeing a trailer? Was like, this is Stephen King is like best to work or something I'm like. Nah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. nah, bro. You know what's weird? It, this movie like was shown at South by Southwest, and of course Kyle saw it early, um, and Kyle liked it, so Amelia was like, oh, it must be good because he hates everything. Um, but I read all these reviews, and they it was getting fucking like. Like nine out of tens, nine yeah, out of fives, like I don't, really high scores. And now, after and everyone else panned it. Yeah, every, now now it's like oh, it's about to be rotten on Rotten Tomatoes. Really? It's like sixty. It's at 60% right now. Oh, it was it, like it was like eighty, like low eighties, high seventies last I saw. Dude, it's a sixty percent right now. Oh wow. Like yeah. So it's no, you know down. what? Right, it's not a rotten movie. I don't believe it's no, a rotten movie, so but uh, rightfully there's so, it doesn't. It does not deserve. Stuff. Does not deserve a nine. No, 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 no. Um, I will say uh, a lot of people, a lot of the good reviews and a lot of the bad reviews said the same thing, and they both had it as either a positive or negative, is that the movie itself is so cheesy that they found it funny, and the good reviews make it sound like the movie meant to do that, which the original movie had cheesy stuff in it, and I heard the story itself has some cheese in it, like maybe not meant to be cheesy, but it has some cheesy shit in it. Um, But I don't really, I don't get the... I don't get what people are saying about this movie, like having like hilarious moments. Like people think this movie is hilarious. Some people do like in a good way. And some people think it's hilarious in a bad way. It's weird. Um, I, I didn't find it either funny. I didn't, I didn't find any bad. parts. I didn't find any parts so kooky that I was cracking up at it. Or like the only at part it. was like when he's fighting his daughter, there's one scene where Jason Clark's burying his daughter. He goes, ah, <laughs> when the thunderstorms go around. Yeah. Like, That's, I, I mean, guess any but... shot of someone's face and them screaming or whatever is always over the top and makes me laugh. Yeah. But besides that, it's like, I mean, it was funnier and that was meant to be funny at times. I, so. I can't. Well, aside from those parts, I can't think of anything Shit, that Gerald's was like. Game was funny. I could see, I could see the husband's uh, reactions, just everything. I came acting so fucking out of it, you know, when he was like uh, yeah. drugging up uh, Judd. Right. Which I didn't know what the fuck that was at first. I was like, oh, did he kill him? I thought he no. killed him. I knew I'm he, like, that's fucked up. I, I figured he drugged him. That does, I don't think that happens in the original. Again, it's been a long time since I watched the original. So little things like that, I'm not going to remember. That, that but, fucking, I was like, what the fuck, dude? You killed him. <laughs> <laughs> he fucking killed John for no reason. No, I thought so. I, I was like, what you. the fuck? This is fucked up. Yeah. And they brought him back for no reason. Um, I agree. He just starts killing people, dude, to just bring them back. Oh, you know what? Addicted to it. You know what? I didn't give a fuck about any kills or anything. You know what fucked me up most though? The, the ankle. Yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah, it's the reverse. The it's the reverse one where he gets it from behind. I'm like, oh yeah. Jesus, and then you dude, see, like, you're done. Just kill you. You're down, dude. She she takes it out and it, like it like opens up or whatever. It's like oh yeah, that reminds me of that Mortal Kombat fatality that I forget who had. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, that that happens in the original, by the way. And you remember the scene with the bed, and he kicks the bed around, uh, away. Uh Yeah, you remember that scene? Yeah. That's when he gets his uh, uh, ankle oh, sliced. Oh, so they in the fucked original. with you. So there is there, yeah, and that's the thing. There's a lot of scenes in this movie that are similar to the original movie, and it seems like they're gonna go the same way, but then they go nah, like with the gauge thing where he j- runs in front of the truck. And you're yeah, like, that, I figured going. something was going on with that. Yeah, I, well, I knew something was going on. Yeah, the well, kids. they fucking spoiled yeah. the goddamn it's, trailer, which is the dumbest well, of shit. That, I, you know, it's, it's been a while since we've had an egregious trailer like that. Yeah, yeah, because the first trailer is fine. Like it yeah, we were doing like shit. we were doing like all right, I think for a while. Like sure, some movies yeah. were a little bit too much, but man, man that that fucking sets back to day zero. Because what the fuck, dude? Who did that? I don't yeah. know who the fuck so, did that. So yeah, no, that that was ridiculous. Also, it made more sense though because in the original. Uh, Gage gets hit, hit by a truck and him being like this big, um, and a giant truck, uh, hitting him going like, like 70, 80 miles. That mother, that hour. fucking truck is fucking zooming, dude. Yeah. That's tr- Yeah. I yeah they being... should have been arrested like fucking nine years ago. Cause what the fuck dude, they're just like hauling ass, dude. I don't know what the fuck yeah. they missed. Yeah. But in the original it's, it's Gage that gets killed and he's just a perfect, he's a perfectly fine body after getting destroyed by a no, giant but truck. Even, no, but even the little miles. girl should be fucking half dead, like half gone. No, he'd be a splatter mark. He'd be like, you'd be inside the girl. Yeah. They'd be, they'd be taking parts out. Yeah. The girl, the like, girl should be, not have been like, she was, she looked. Made, 
Yeah, it made more sense. And also, they showed that they had, like, obviously, she, they had to, like, fix her up a little bit because she was. Yeah, you know, but she had, uh, like the staples inside her head. Yeah, but like even that, I'm like, dude, the truck going that fast like that, you're you're fucking done, dude. Oh well, no, well, I guess they, they it, it was because they fought. It was the part back of the truck. Yeah, okay, I forgot about that. Yeah, yeah that's fair. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Oh, like, and the original was, was it just straight just a fucking? Just... Oh, I guess they didn't have cell phones back then, so, huh? No, well, yeah, back back then, they were, I think this is supposed to take place in the 2000s, so uh, I don't know actually. Hey, did it say in the beginning it was taking place in the 80s or something or 90s? No, I was saying is that uh, when when the first movie came out or the original? Jeez. Yeah, something. There's no there's no cell phone, so they just they just fucking just killed them then, huh? Yeah, I think the book and the God movie damn. came out in the eighties. I know Zitchy. Um, yeah. and, and, th- and this one, like, they make it make more sense, but because a truck going that fast, a giant one like that, hitting a two year old, it'd be done. <laughs> like, right. There wouldn't be no body to even resurrect. Uh, here it makes more sense that they, they, I mean, she's a messed up and not too bad. You, you don't want to see a bloody pulp of a kid. Obviously, that's that's a little too far. Uh, like, even do. it like chewed a kid's fucking arm off, but we didn't want we didn't need to see him like devour the kid. Um, right. What, what's that, that was a fucked up kids? beginning, though. You know, I just realized what, what is with Stephen King and murdering kids? That's that's what gets you, dude. I, I don't want to say what other Stephen King movie that came out recently had like kids getting murdered, but <laughs> besides it, obviously. But uh, and this, but uh, Stephen King writes some fucked up stories. I don't know if you know this. <laughs> it's, All right, you so that's a uh, pet cemetery. Well, I I'm not. I I also want to mention that I do I I the whole Zelda stuff in the movie. Um, with the uh, the girl with the cystic fiber. No, it's not cystic fibers. What does she have? It's like she has something wrong with her spine. Uh, the wife. Oh, has I didn't like that whole. Uh... It felt it felt so out of place. I think it it did, but it's done better here than in the original. Because the original, it's literally she just goes, "Let me tell you a story about my past," and then it goes into this giant, really over the top, like. Okay, flashback. so they cut it up this time. This time they actually made it make more sense because it, that you you understand why she's kind of already freaking out because. Uh, it should, it's reminding her of her sister and also she looked way more messed up in the original here she looked kind of normalish except with her back I mean, yeah when you saw her face she looked she looked comparing the zelda from the original to this it's right she looked way more she looked more ghoulish in the original here it looked more like probably what that disease would make you look like if you had that disease i forgot what the disease is she it's a real more uh ghouls yeah, well, the original was a ghoul. Uh, I'm, but anyway, I'm they used fun her of that trailer. for jump scares. Dude. They needed something else to have a, a couple jump scares in. And I hate just, jump scares. I fucking... Yeah, uh, there, I'm, there's barely any in this movie. Yeah, movie. I'm just... I'm fucking... Just, jump scares are just the dumbest and lamest fucking... I'm okay with a jump scare as long as it's good. Like, uh, one of my favorite horror movies ever, The Thing, has like it has a few jump scares, and they're great. <laughs> they I guess. Are... I just feel like every single one I just see, it's so lame. Did it, you ever it, see The Thing? No, I have it, I think. I think do I have it? Um, you should see that. That's a great one. <laughs> Those jump scares will get you. <laughs> the thing is great. 1982. Don't fucking no. bring that 2011 shit in here. No, I uh, I I'm looking at when I bought all those uh, those uh, steel books at Best Buy, all the horror ones. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm saving them because uh, I'm waiting for them to come on on Dis- digital on Voodoo, but uh, it just okay. it never happens. Yeah. All right. So that's Pet Cemetery. I just want to bring up the Zelda part too. Right on. So let's talk uh, Shazam. Shazam. Oh, bam! I'm big. I'm a big boy. All right. Uh, now I've already I've, I've talked about it on the channel a couple times. So I'll, yeah. I'll so I, I haven't looked at your thoughts. Um. I mean, I, I'll still talk about them because uh, I'm sure there's other stuff that I missed. When so when I first saw this trailer, I was actually super excited for it. Like, there was just a cool mm-hmm. vibe about this trailer that we haven't had in a superhero movie in a long time. Right. Um. Even like even it was even more like campy than Guardians of the Galaxy one felt. I think. Um. Yeah. And then DC. Like obviously quality aside, I and I've <laughs> I've mentioned this a few times, but. Um. I think one of the strongest shots in a in a superhero movie. Um. Mm, I don't agree. No, I just just like look wise. I, you talk about the Justice League scene at the end, right? When they're all su- – it's because, yeah. like, the colors pop. That's what I like about it. Is that, is sure. that we – because – and I'm not saying I'm, – I'm, I'm not saying, like, it's, like, blows – like, it's not a scene that blows everything. But I think shot-wise, like, it looks like a cool-ass shot. That is sure. a cool shot that I think is, like, we needed that for DC because 
God help that fucking universe. Right. But it pops. And and right. we haven't had the NDC because fucking everything is always turned down and murky. Right. Um, Shazam is, is so fucking bright. It's so nice. Everything's just fucking colorful. Right. And even though it's at night sometimes, like even it still it still pops out. It's so Dude. fun. But yeah, all the night scenes of Shazam is like brighter than anything that happened in Batman v Superman. Right. And uh, goddamn Zachary Levi fucking just. Yeah, he is the goddamn man, dude. He had so much fun with this, yeah. and also yeah. we talked about this. I think where, uh, where um, it just feels like some of the people, like like Ben Affleck, just feels like he's not filling this role, you know. Uh, yeah, yeah. But you know what? Like Jason Momoa and uh, Zachary Levi, you can tell they're both guys that just like their role, you know. It's like they're like, yeah, hell yeah, I'm a superhero. Person. You know, I might not be in fucking MCU, which sucks, but uh, I'm a goddamn superhero. Yeah, I would say Gil. I, I can't pronounce. It. Is it Godot or Godot? I think it's Godot. Gal Gadot. Gal Gadot, okay. I, I think she does. She really <laughs> Yeah, her too. Yeah. yeah. She's the only one that I really liked in Justice League. Uh, I, 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 you I know, know what? I, 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 think... I, know, I know Aquaman, everybody else, but they were barely characters in that movie. I, I, like... I, I personally, and I know it's it's obviously divisive, especially because people like The Flash, but I, I, I like The Flash show. I like Barry Allen a lot. I thought I thought he was a cool, like, a yeah, cool I mean, goofy guy. Didn't... Yeah, we didn't we didn't get enough backstory for us to like understand more about why he's so goofy like that. But yeah, I liked I liked it. I thought it was a good offset. That's why. Yeah, but, uh, I, I liked it. But I think she was the only one that really was like, not that she was the only one trying. She was the only one that was really making me feel like she's this character. Where right. like Flash, like I, from what I've seen, Flash is kind of goofy, but he, he's not like that. And it's, no, she like, no Gal Gadot board, looks fucking boring. awesome in that role. Like she she does so well. Yeah, um, that's great. But yeah, no, Shazam is Shazam was so fucking good. Like there was, yeah. I was so I had a giant smile on my face a lot of that time that movie. Like the, I think the beginning was the slowest part for sure. It had yeah. it had to like it had to like just get the rules. But you can tell I think even the people like making the movie were just like, all right, look, we understand you want to fucking get to the cool parts. So let's just fucking turn this shit out. Let's just get it out of the way. Because I mean, yeah. as soon as we get to uh, as soon as you get to Billy, it's just him fucking with the cops like right away. <laughs> yeah, like immediately. Yeah. It's like oh, what's that thing he always says for some reason? Like some. Straight up 70s shit. I forgot. I forgot what the thing he says. Golly or something like that. I don't Gee know. whiz. He says. He says. Holy moly. Yeah, that's that's probably, I think that was it. Yeah. Ah, uh, holy. Well, he says it all the time. That's supposed to be his thing. Holy right. moly. Uh, even even Zachary Levi says it when he's uh, Shazam. But uh, he's like he, he's straight up like hamming it up. I, I, right. I like I'll, Asher Angel. I think his name is. He does a good job. It's right. weird that he does more of the adult dramatic stuff than zachary levi does like the kid yeah the kid does more i mean like he has to deal with like the, the mother scene later and stuff like zachary levi's just being goofy the you know time, which is great i will say that i think my only big fault with it is i feel like zachary levi shazam and billy were were, were, were were not at the same level you know it felt like when billy was shazam he was like inherently more goofier yeah you know, and it, it felt like because he wasn't pulling off the the he wasn't pulling off near I should, he did it a couple times, but he wasn't pulling off nearly as as the same tone I guess you know is, is where Zachary Levi was at. But right. man, there was there was some fun fucking moments in this movie. Like there was there was I love um I love uh, the whole uh my uh, my dad my dad's here he's he's just stuck at the the business. The business. <laughs> he's, he's gonna walk around. <laughs> Shazam! <laughs> they come right yeah. back. Shazam! <laughs> Oh hey, what's up? I was at the business office. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like those parts oh, are so hey, good. You're the best security guard ever. He's just like, no, no, this one sucks. <laughs> that there's that. Um, obviously the monologue. That's that's what gets a lot of people. <laughs> yeah, I was in the tra- one of the trailers too. I didn't see that trailer. Uh, I guess. Yeah, it was just like, hey, I, all I see is mouth moving. I can't hear you. Yeah, that was a good <laughs> one. And then what was the other one? No, we're like oh. two miles away, and there's a bunch of trains and. and yeah, and Mark Strong just going in with the usual <laughs> like. Yeah. Yeah, the obviously. world will see me suffer. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then uh, obviously I think the part and, and literally I was I think I was I forget who I was telling but uh that's not my buddy is that rarely ever do movies like make me laugh out loud you know like actually like audibly like I'll chuckle here or there I, I think stuff is funny but. Especially alone, you know. Obviously, you don't you don't laugh as much when you're without people. But this movie got one of the ones, one of the, the actual laugh out loud moments of me with uh, when they're all like, <laughs> he has the the staff. All right, guys, on the count of three, say my yeah, name. Billy. One, two, three. Billy. Billy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, was I was like, all right, you guys got no, me. No, <laughs> the thing I say when to turn into this. <laughs> yeah, look at each other. Just, yeah. <laughs> that part it was, was really good. good. 
yeah, yeah that's a great moment uh there's a, there's a lot of really good moments in this so movie. how was I your really crowd the entire the entire montage of him like figuring out what his powers are he's just flicking barrels and like like <laughs> they right. puts him in a box and, and he's just like let's see if he can teleport but secretly he's like putting him a on fire, fire resistant and, yeah <laughs> which you know what that's hilarious because that's such a that's everything that was going about it with him running a it's youtube channel shit. that shit yeah. that's that would happen that, that's so yeah. cool because like that that's like absolutely like I'd, I'd throw my shit on twitter if i was a fucking you know the kid yeah. like oh shit i found this fucking superhero but yeah. uh now tell, tell me about your uh your audience because obviously your audience oh, yeah. was filled with people that were like, cared enough to actually go look for a special viewing oh yeah no everybody loved it they're having a great time i mean there's a lot of uh adults in there which i mean it makes sense well, yeah but it's definitely more of a kid-friendly that way. parts are fucked the... up man yeah, I mean, there's only a couple, but like, if you put those parts in any other Marvel movie, it would fit. Like, like it'd be like, all right. I know. I don't even time. know. Do Marvel movies get that crazy? Because they ate yeah. fucking people's heads off. Dude, I remember like, uh, all right, this is an old Marvel movie, but uh, You're talking dude, about Blade. Yeah, this is before MCU, but there's one, one like death scene in a in a, MC, a Marvel movie from Fantastic Four two, which is the goofiest shit ever. It's and there's one death scene that is like like horrible and it reminded me of the death scene in this one with the girl then when right. she touches the door and she turned she goes, i was she fucked up like, dude fuck? i was like god damn what she deserved that for but yeah, uh she deserved that at all there was that <laughs> there was fucking throwing the fucking brother out and i was like yeah that guy's fucked up but jesus christ hilarious. man I, no i laughed my ass off that uh, was great. he's just did... like yo ask the ask the freaking uh eight ball <laughs> yeah you know, if you toss me out of here so it's like ooh, what did he, what did he say what was the uh, eight balls quote that he always I, quoted I've... Uh, I forget what uh, it was. I forgot. I, I want to go see a movie so again for sure. Um, Dude, that was that was dope. That, that was the one scene where I was just like, "This is probably the best DCEU villain." That's not saying much, but he's probably the best one immediately just from that one scene. Yeah, he 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 felt he did really well. I think. Um, there I like few, There's a few moments that that were that could have been a little stronger, but uh, sure. Uh, he, sure. He did, he I like well. they gave him a backstory that made a little bit more sense than just like I'm evil. Right. Why evil? Uh, Cause that was fucked up, man. His fucking dad and his brother were fucking pieces yeah. of shit. Yeah, it was a little over the top, admittedly. He's just like, shut up. And yeah, and you know the what? Brother, that, the brother's that... making fun of him, and the dad's like, <laughs> yeah, it was over. Even the bullies were way over the top too. Oh, the bullies were ridiculous. He almost killed that fucking crippled kid by running him over with his car. And, like, and fucking beat him with the crutch. How do you, how do you, how did they not know that that could actually really harm him? He's crippled. That could really fuck him up. And these guys, how do they keep getting away with parking out there? Yeah. <laughs> He might have Mr. Glass disease. You don't know. Um, <laughs> yeah. So that there's a there's a few, I think the CG fucking sucked for the Seven Sins. I I thought they were fine when they did the close ups, but whenever they moved, it was really it was actual awkward. like it was it was pretty. It ass, was, I you know what? I didn't mind it because it reminded me of like an older like a, one of the superhero movies that back then didn't suck. And they were fun for the time. You know what it reminded me of? I mean, it, not the violence, just the way the special effects looked. What? Uh, it reminded me of Blade. <laughs> <laughs> Blade special effects sucked ass, but every time they popped up, I would laugh my ass off. Here they weren't as funny. But it they wasn't. Had that look to them. It wasn't bad because they were. Uh, there it was campy movie, so I wasn't taking it too seriously. Right. Mm-hmm. I was. Um, also, I, the budget's way smaller on this one. I think it's like eighty million dollars, which compared to like Justice League, which. Has, oh, is it really eighty million dollars? That's not bad. I think it's like. Well, they keep saying eighty and ninety and a hundred. I think it's eighty though. I hope it's they, eighty because I've I, heard that the most. It I don't know how, like, how well like this movie's gonna do because it's definitely not gonna be an overseas movie. Uh, I don't know. I think so. I think it did well in China. Actually. Really? I, that shocks me. Not huge, but it, it did well enough where, I mean, this budget's small enough where it did well enough here and worldwide. I think it made like $155 million in its first weekend, which is pretty mm-hmm. good. Speaking That's of, uh, this is totally off topic, but speaking sure. of uh, trailer talk, fucking, they did so well with Shazam because they, they gave us no hint whatsoever to the Shazam family. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It was literally no, and that you barely that, even see the family period. Yeah, you know, and and what bugs me is, is like the entire Shazam family. It was cool seeing them, right? Fucking um, obviously Daria was was the one that stole the show for the Shazam family because she was running around everywhere, running the running everything. She sees Santa, and she was like all asking Santa what oh, she wanted. Oh, yeah. But yeah. uh, the fucking yeah. older sister, the one with the skirt. Yeah. What the fuck was her power? Like, what the fuck? She was in the, like, a sh- one shot as a, yeah, as a she Shazam. Didn't do it, like, yeah. Like, I don't think she did any. Well, I, I'm pretty sure they just all have the same powers. Um, I think it's supposed to be more like they're all, like, one of them's really strong. And they got, they got, like, ex- yeah. But I think, I think they just all have the same powers. 
I think it was just demonstrating that each one because I, I Shazam has all the same powers even when giving the powers to them. So I, I think no, I think he's the the one that has them all. But I think the yeah. rest of them have like their own variant of of what they can do. But why? What did he do that was different than what the wizard did? I think he's just the main one. You know, it would've been hilarious in a dark way if he gave the like he he's like speak my name and they all say Shazam and then he's like all right and then he just crumbled in the dust like the wizard did. <laughs> oh like, shit. Fuck. <laughs> What the fuck? You didn't think about that. The only way better is if he turns into that woman at the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, that's the main character. <laughs> um, no, so they all, I think they all had their own variant of it, but uh, that was yeah. super fun, but I, I didn't see that girl do anything. I was kind of like, I was like, yeah, come on, you gotta, you gotta give at least everyone like one cool scene. Like, even the, the Asian kid, he had the, the, the Hadouken, which is hilarious. Yeah, Hadouken, yeah. That, that crap, you know what, that got me too. I forgot about that yeah, one. That, was that came out of nowhere. I, I, I mean, I even like the, the, the Latino guy. He's just like, I got it. He's like, oh, shit, I really do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love how when he first got the powers, he looks at himself, he's like, god damn. He's like, yeah, I was about to say, he's like some chubby looking freaking like up kid. And it's, he, he grows up to be like this monster. I was like, Jesus, I wish that would happen in real life. I <laughs> <laughs> uh, just got to look for that wizard. Um, <laughs> you know, it's funny. The wizard is played by uh, Jaiman Hansu, who is also, also an Aquaman. Aquaman. Yeah. Yeah. That's so strange that they just reuse him. He was also in our favorite movie this year, Serenity. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, the best. You know, movie um, I and you know what? This movie had a lot of like had a lot of fucking had a lot of heartbreak too. Because man, him him with that mom, dude, the mom that, was a fucking mom. She was a bigger villain than fucking Mark Strong. You know, I I, it, I, I understood. Right, right, right. Which I is what I'm saying is that it, it it's it's hard to call her a villain because yeah, that, that was that was the way fucked she, up. Like straight up told it to him. It's just like, and, you know what? Yeah, no, that was hard. And then like, yeah, yeah. when when he was trying to hug her, and she's like, nah. Yeah, and then, well, and then, and then the the, the the what what got to me? I was like, yeah, that, that's kind of like really fucked up. But you know what? It was the uh, it was the last part where uh, he, oh, hand, he gave he her hand, the uh, the thing that he got her, and she goes, yeah. "What's this?" And what he goes, this? "You'll need it." Yeah, you need. I was it. like, "God damn, dude!" And then, and then obviously, you know what's so cool is I wish it wasn't in the trailer, but man, they they followed up with with that cool ass shot where he oh, goes on top and jumps. does that. I I I, I get why because that 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 was like a, a cool moment shot. I was kind of waiting for. But man, that shot, especially after that moment. Would be like fuck yeah, dude. Let's go, dude. Let's go. And hey, you know what? He, he had a good do... arc. Wait, he had wait. a really Billy had a really strong arc. Like yeah, it, it didn't it didn't feel like. But you understand why he's a dick. Right. And it, it didn't on, it didn't cut it. off at anything. And you know what? I'm so glad they I'm so glad they even like didn't break the rule of logic where it was like because when I was thinking about it at the beginning, I was like, how the fuck didn't you find your fucking family? Like. Right. Like how how do you not sense. find? She changed her name. Yeah, she just dipped, and then it was like, okay, that now I get that, because yeah, at first like I was I thought that for, uh, after a while, I was like she's either dead or she like she dipped. Like there's how otherwise how do they not? But but they I addressed that. That was awesome. The dead part. Yeah, it, it sounded like it for a second, right? You mentioned like oh like we we were looking and stuff, and, and of course they had that they had that. They had that. Yeah. I mean, is, is it weird that the Asian kid's the one that's really good? At the yeah, watchdogs. It's a little messed up. I love that you mentioned watchdogs. Yeah, watchdogs. <laughs> Shit, you don't even do hacking. And like, press hey. one button, you hack the street, cut lights. I'm like, get the fuck out. Um, but no, no, no. I, I, I thought that the, that's where they were going with the right. Mother, I did they, too. They went somewhere way worse. <laughs> like, I, uh, like, I thought he had a really strong arc though. Like, I didn't feel like it, it, it missed a beat. I felt like no. it was a, a, a really smooth transition from point A to point B. And Zachary Levi was actually pretty good with that too. Like, I feel like yeah, he had that face. He had the face. He had that fist face. Yeah, but he he had the cool like the moments where like when the, we didn't notice in the trailer, but when he when he catches the bus, right? That was actually a part where they were hella fractured. They just got done arguing with each other, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it was like that's no, cool. Like you can kind of see that in there. It was it was it was pretty cool. Um, I thought the uh, I thought the fight scenes were pretty cool. Like I yeah, I liked I liked him part. being I mean, able to, to Shazam in and out of what he was doing. Yeah, that was really cool when he caught, he caught that one guy. He's like, "Gotcha!" He just, every he transition, thing. every transition with Shazam was fucking. They they were like, "We're gonna nail one thing, a hundred and ten percent." This movie, every time he fucking changes the Shazam, was do it. Yeah, one thing I thought was a little annoying is that he has this lightning and he never really uses it. Like oh. besides when he says Shazam, 
he never uses his lightning other than like lightning hands. And lightning hands. People. Lightning <laughs> hands. That was the so only fucking that, good, dude. <laughs> the only people he hurt were, were innocent people when he you know that bus. You know, it's <laughs> hilarious, too, because it's coming off after Creed and Creed 2 to seeing that again and to seeing him on the top. Hands. Yeah. Lightning. <laughs> That's just hilarious. Because you think about a kid, he's a superhero. It's like, what the fuck is he going to want to do? He's going to want to do dumb shit. Yeah, right. right. He's just trying to get money from people from doing selfies. Right. And I like that that one that one couple that just walks away from him. He's just like, hey, you're supposed to give me a little money. Hey, you know what? It's fine. Yeah. You're, you're a cute couple. <laughs> uh, what do you think of the the cameo? Oh, I love well, yeah, cameo. Cameo. Um. I wonder why that was the way it was. I wonder is it I think he was Henry busy. Cavill just does not want to be in this shit anymore, or uh, I don't know, maybe he had that mustache still. You know what? Not he only had did the mustache still. I thought I was thinking. Uh, I think he was busy they with something else, that, but um, <laughs> which they should have did that for Justice League. Just kept it just like just a cow and yeah. chicken it. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, with the <laughs> shitty like shaky special effects. Cow and chicken it. Just keep him just the bottom half of the family. You know, the yeah. mom and dad. Are you always see the the, the yeah, bottom torso? You just see this. You just see um, this. You don't see the mustache. I think I think it's it it that was such a brilliant way of doing it because one, it it fits perfectly for the movie. Like it's hilarious. Yeah. That's a joke, and you don't have to see him. Two, it's good because it leaves it open. Because like that's a discussion too. Because we're talking about right. like is is he still in? Like is he still doing all this? And I, the word is still he's still doing it. But like you don't need to know it, and it's just fine. I think I think it is such a fucking uh, that was a good like way of ending it. I think. Yeah. And I, and I do I do love it. I, I even love the credits with the drawings and stuff. Yeah. It was all like kid stuff. Or he's like taking Wonder Woman to prom and stuff. Was, uh, he's stealing Batman's Batmobile to take her to dude, prom. It's dude, fun. I fucking love how they integrated the rest of the DCEU in with uh, the Batarang. How the Batarang was a, part, was a, a big reason why he got away. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he uses... Uh, well, he used Batman. <laughs> yeah, he used Batman. Yeah, Batman. That he used the Batarang, and, and yeah, you see the kids always rocking Batman, some yeah. uh, some uh, hero shirt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the post credits. Yeah, that was hilarious. Shirt. That was a fucking was... good scene. Yeah, of course I can't talk to fish. Why is that useful? He's just like, oh, king of the seas or whatever. He's just like, yeah, that's not that cool. <laughs> Which is it's true. It's yeah. true. It's not that cool. And you know, you know, Aquaman's gonna kick his ass sometime in the next movie somehow. That's fine. Somehow. He's still it's gonna not be... cool. Yeah. <laughs> 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 he's, he's just, you know, Shazam's gonna make fun of him for something like that. Yeah. Um, that's a good question I I... though. Is is what? do you think whenever we see Justice League Two or whatever that it's going to be just Zachary Levi, or do you think we're going to see the kid here too? Oh, yeah, it'll be a kid. He'll probably be, have a, he'll have a shorter role. Like we'll see him in school or something. Like he looks up in the sky and see like the justice league, somewhere, or like maybe like doomsday showing up, or whoever the fucking villain will be. He's like, Oh, oh trouble. Golly. Or whatever he says, Holy moly. And Shazam. Oh, and he, and then it'll just be rest like, the movie a, like that. What, yeah, it'll be it'll be something like that, but I don't think we're gonna get a Justice League two until that kid's probably like thirty five. That's right. So that's that's why that's why I asked that because I don't think the kid that kid's gonna age really fucking. I mean, they could still do the same thing until he looks like the same age as Zachary Levi. Just does. record the shots right now, man. Yeah, they they could easily just uh, make it so that oh he's a teenager now, but he still doesn't look like Zachary Levi's age because I'm right. assuming it's supposed to be that's what he's supposed to look like when he grows up. Right. I can only assume, right? Uh, that's why everybody else, all the other families look kind of, you know, they don't, they're, they're not all like, like the, the little black girl doesn't turn into a white dude or anything, right? It's just like, it's, it, it's all supposed to be like what they look like later on. I did. Um, that Mexican kid's got a fucking good deal coming in. Yeah. <laughs> he's better keep, you know, he, he saw that. He's just like, no, nah, I got to keep, I got to keep whatever God's plan is. For <laughs> Jesus, take the wheel of my life. Jesus, take the wheel. For throw that food away today um, um and i thought you know what I, I i first off i liked the family dynamics i thought like it had a good vibe to it like you really got to the parents really wanted to do do their best you know and you really and man dude even the heartbreak was uh with daria i know she gives a, she tries to give a hug to billy yeah. and he's like no 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 we're not brothers sister. Not she just looks down she's like oh and oh, walks out. I'm like, God damn, dude! You're gonna have That's a good right. ass arc because you're an asshole right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, at least he um immediately realized what like what he said was dickish. He's like, I'm. So, I didn't mean that. Oh, 
Right. Like, yeah, he, yeah, he, he looked. And she did. She stole the show a lot of times too. I remember when it was it was the yeah. whole uh, scene when they figured it out. She's like, "Oh, thank God, you guys got it." All right, I don't have to, I don't yeah. have to hide it. Anymore. I will. I will say she's a little too precocious at times. <laughs> I like it. I do. I, I find that kind of annoying in some characters, but it, it didn't annoy me in this. I, I like she's it a, a lot. Li- she's almost there at times. Just like a little too like no no like what is she like eight or nine? Yeah. No eight or nine year old would act like this. Uh, in her life. But you need she's made nine year old. She. she I, I know eight or nine year old. I know a few of them. Yeah, I'm sorry. You're just, you're just, you're just does the Fortnite cut. Dance. Yeah, they just do Fortnite shit. She didn't do any <laughs> Fortnite shit. <laughs> Not I real. I will say that though. Not no grounded. Dabs. No dabs. Hey, did the floss dance for a second? Huh? Yeah, hey, floss dance for a second. Yeah, I was okay though, because because uh, that whole training sequence was really fun. So <laughs> that was the beginning of it too, and they had "Don't Stop Me Now" playing. So no, that was good. Stop me. Cause that was good. good. Queen's back in a big way. Yeah, well, man, he's fucking time. doing so well at the Oscars, you know what I'm saying? Just fucking, yeah. let's go, man. Yeah, they won the best picture or whatever. Might as well have with all this fucking shit. All right. Yeah. Anything like else you got to say about Shazam? Um, I will. I want to go back to the ending real quick because sure. I want to mention this. Uh, I found it to be a great ending. You know, smash cut to the credits. I like that. You know, him screaming, ah! You know, when Superman's there. I will say, though, I don't... <laughs> I find it really funny that... <sighs> I don't want to, I don't want to make this sound like they're they're copying or anything, but I just find it funny how similar it is to the Spider-Man Homecoming ending. Uh, you remember the Spider-Man Homecoming ending? Yeah, he, that's how so, so. that's where it's it, they walk in on the big surprise. Yeah, what the and it cuts to like drawn credits with like fun music. It's like uh, this one is a Ramon song. I forget which one it is. I think it's a Ramon okay. song. Like, you know what? But it, it can almost. I don't want to grow up or whatever the fuck it's song. Yeah, but yeah, you can and, almost in Spider-Man. So. Um, Ah, oh, shit. I can't remember the song. But anyway, it just felt so similar. It was just like, I don't know. Hey, it was still fun. I really liked it. But uh, it had a similar feel. I was like, all right. And it had a goofy feel. It had teen, like teenagers and whatnot as the characters. And it was a high school. And in this one, it was a, it was still high school, but whatever. Um, I think it was supposed to be a middle school and a high school combined. Wasn't that the whole thing? Right. Because um, he's like 14, but his, his uh, sister is like 18 years old, I think, but they're in the same school or whatever. So I'm assuming it's like a combined, you know, middle school, high school thing, um, which I, we don't have those over here, <laughs> which we don't No, They separate those motherfuckers. <laughs> that's for sure. There's too many people over here. Yeah, there, um, there, there are some like that though. My, uh, Oh yeah, I, I know, but I figured there was, but I don't know. I, I don't know where this takes place. Where does this take place? Uh, Pittsburgh. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't see it being there, but, uh, I, I know like my uh, my school growing up, so. one of my schools Sit. growing up, it was it was definitely more uh, rural, but my one of my schools growing up was K through eight. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. My, mine was uh, middle school sixth, seventh, and eighth. Ninth grade though, we had a completely different school, which is weird because usually it's nine to you know nine to twelve. Yeah. But over here it was they call it the center because that's supposed to be the center in, in the center of six right. to twelve. It's a middle. It should have been called the middle, but whatever. Um, and that's where we went. Because we had so many people in our school, they, they, we had a lot of people in our. Well, high school. yeah, so they, that they had to separate into a different. Building. Right, so that that's that's kind of how my uh my other schools came out. Where uh when I moved, it was uh middle school was sixth and seventh grade, then we had a mid high, which is eighth and ninth grade, and okay. high school was tenth and twelfth grade. Okay. Because the high school that I graduated from was the only high school in the city at the time, and that city okay. was actually big, so I graduated in class of like a thousand kids. <laughs> Yeah, you know, it's weird. I don't even. I didn't even grow up in the city. I just grew up in more rural areas. But uh, can't even say that fucking word. But uh, right. You know. Final uh, final I'll note be... I will say is uh, I guess I like the family dynamics. I just really liked how the kids got along too. Like, yeah, they, yeah. it wasn't over. It wasn't overbearing. So like, you thought you saw the uh, the Hispanic kid like find the the binder in the trash. Yeah, and you they thought all it was, had you... their own. Thing. Right, you didn't know what was gonna happen with it. They don't need to say it, you know. It's just like, hey, when yeah. it, it happens, it's like, hey, this is what happened. Cool. And then yeah, it happens like, like, like what? Like he finds it, and it's like forty. And you forgot about it, so yeah, which is cool. You already forget about it. You're like, oh, okay, yeah. Which yeah, I love. Yeah. I love when people do that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I loved it. I, I'm, I'm gonna go watch really? it again. I'm super excited to. Uh, I'm super excited for like, I, kind of, I, I kind of wish that. Uh, I kind of, you know, let's do this really quick because I know you want to rank the DCEU, and I just, I've actually yeah. never seen Man of Steel. But, yeah, uh, I, I kind of, I'm kind of curious. Where would you? What would you? If you can take all the DCEU movies right now and, and rank them? shift them? No, 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 not rank them. Shift them around in release order. Oh, okay. What would uh, you? Where would you put them at? 
I would do Man of Steel as the first one is perfectly fine. That makes sense. You know, Superman's their biggest one. Well, at the time he was. Now it's Wonder Woman, I guess. Then Wonder Woman. They didn't do a Batman movie, so I guess just do Batman v Superman. No, yeah, Batman v Superman. After that, do Shazam. Uh, I guess Suicide Squad. <laughs> and then you and then you do Justice League. It doesn't matter though, because Justice League didn't have almost any Where's of Aquaman? in those other movies. Oh, I forgot about I completely forgot about Aquaman. Uh I don't know, he's somewhere. <laughs> I would put it I, I, I he's right before Shazam. Well no, because it's out just it ha- Aquaman happens after Justice League, right? Yeah, well, you just cut that little part out though. You get easily okay, so hypothetically if we, did, if we remove that part. She you says put... after Steppenwolf. So you would wait, you would out. you would lead Justice League Justice League with Suicide Squad? I feel like you'd wanna you'd wanna because Suicide Squad doesn't matter. Also, Suicide Squad does have a couple of cameos, like Flash and stuff. Um, and they also mention, like, remember the after credit scene where you probably don't, but Ben Affleck shows up as like, oh, yeah, I remember the that former one. team or whatever. So that would be an okay lead in to Justice. So League. you put you put Shazam or Aquaman after Shazam? Uh, I'd say Aquaman before Shazam, because Aquaman's like 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 it's good. It's a nice like it's a nice cream in between Wonder Woman and Shazam. Uh, yeah, but between. the cookie's the best part. <laughs> So your uh, no. so your order is huh? Man of Steel, Wonder Woman, Batman v Superman, Aquaman, Shazam, Suicide Squad, Justice League. Yeah, I, Batman v Superman I guess could go further, but it doesn't matter because you need another Batman or another Superman thing. I would just say Wonder it should be after Wonder Woman because you already got to know who Wonder Woman is. You, I guess you would also have to cut some of the Wonder Woman stuff out. You know the stuff with her talking to not talking. Right, we're we're, we're assuming this list without the. Uh, little continuity things they have going okay, on here. Okay, okay, yeah. Then, yeah, the, I would say that... I guess you could probably put Batman v Superman, like, before Suicide Squad if you wanted. But uh, I think Batman v Superman could fit anywhere. I, and I think it would actually benefit from a few movies without Superman being alive, maybe. Because he dies in Batman v Superman, spoilers. Right. Um, not that Shazam mentions him being dead or anything, but still, it, it would feel like there would be more time between Batman v Superman and Justice League where... Like, oh, you feel it more. Like, oh, he's been dead for a few years, even though we haven't seen any movies with him anyway. But, right. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, and Suicide Squad, they mentioned that he died. But So, yeah, assuming that. So, yeah. Okay, I can see that order. I, I, I still feel like Suicide Squad is a hard one to place. Yeah, I mean, the only reason why I put it there is because it could literally go anywhere. It doesn't fucking matter. Um, the but way it I feels would... like it's a better lead in the Justice League than any of the other ones, I guess, because the other ones just fucking ignore that movie. Nice. <laughs> I feel okay. Batman, Man Still, Wonder Woman, Batman, Aquaman, Shazam, Suicide Squad, Justice League. I yeah, feel Man Steel is a good beginning point. Right. That's, so I put Man Steel at the beginning of mine too. I followed up immediately with Suicide Squad. Okay. Um, because I feel like that's the intro, and if you're gonna like have a, a movie that's like kind of awkward, throw it at the beginning and just forget about it later on. Uh, Wonder Woman after that, Batman v Superman. And then after that, I put Shazam because I feel like with the Marvel, the Marvel thing has a good thing where it's kind of like they have the Ant-Man that follows uh, uh, Avengers. It's kind of like a comedic like breather, you know? So Shazam's like right there. Aquaman and then Justice League. And I feel like Aquaman, if if they did that well, a post credit would have been like showing the the uh, thing underneath in Atlantis. You know what I'm saying? That thing that that once his fucking face gets... Oh, uh, the trident? No, what's his... What, what, who the fuck was it? Steppenwolf. When he goes down oh. into, to Atlantis to uh, um, take whatever's down there, that would have been a good post credit scene in Aquaman. Uh, that's... Okay. <laughs> I only say no to that because I don't ever want to see Steppenwolf ever again in my life. <laughs> Unless he's like... His head's on a fucking stick or something. Is my camera like flashing? A little bit. Webcam? Why is it doing that? I, I noticed it. In it's not, not, not that bad, but yeah, it, it's done it a couple okay. times. Okay. Um, all right. Just so we'll we'll rank those someday for sure. Um, yeah, once you, well, you just needs to watch Man of Steel. I'm, I think everybody else that is in here watched. Well, they're not in here. Obviously I have Man of Steel too. I just haven't actually I, got around to it. Yeah, I mean it's a fine watch. It's better than Batman v Superman. Uh, I loved it when it first came out, but it, it, after being beat down by like forty fucking other DCU movies, I kind of <laughs> it was like. I, at this point, like, I, I'm a different person than I was six years ago where, like, oh, uh, giant action scenes do not fucking wow me anymore. Um, I think it, I think it's because of my brightness setting. I could try to fix it. Well. Yeah, it's, you're fine. Okay. Um, all right, so let's go to trailer talk. Uh, okay, well, hold on. Wait, which one, Joker? Are we doing Joker? Let's first? do Joker first because we're talking about 
DC. Maybe. Okay. Joker. All right, let's talk about that joke trailer. So, uh, what what a pleasant surprise. Like I I I was kind of I'm, I still am, but uh, I'm generally just skeptical of uh, um, these. I'm scared. I was kind of go this movie because I don't know what it wants to do, and I I know this is DC kind of throwing in the towel and being like, all right, fuck it, you know, we we we're not gonna we're not gonna, gonna touch the consistency of the MCU, so uh, we'll have our spinoff I movies. I th- I think they're doing like a Logan, where it's just like it's gonna be a separate thing. It's gonna be it's it's gonna be rated R, most likely. Well, they can't, but they R. can't pull a Logan because now this is still part of it. You know, it's like Logan had the excuse no, it's not of part like of, this this isn't part of DCU. No, I'm saying, but they're... Logan had the excuse of it couldn't um. It couldn't actually be part of the MCU even if it wanted to at the point, you know. Sure, this I don't think this could fit in the DC. No, now. it, it can't. But it, that's I'm saying it out. I just don't know how it, yeah. it, it could be like that. But no, it, it, it's separate. It's, it's doing its own thing. Fine. You know what? Uh, I feel like this could easily just be like a part of the Nolan universe too. Like right, right. But I mean, I guess Batman would be way too young because you see him in the trailer. He's like a kid, so it wouldn't really make sense. Age wise, because he Ledger when he did Joker, he was like 28. So uh, it wouldn't make sense age wise, but you could always make it make sense in some way. Just the tone of this trailer makes it has it has the uh, the Nolan vibe. It's got the, yeah. a really grounded Joker. Yeah. Um, and uh, I liked it a lot. I, I liked I actually liked where they were going with it. I liked the whole uh, just people are just fucked up, and it's not like anyone did anything heinous. To Joker is like, hey, it's the man that already was kind of like on the edge of it and he has dealt with some fucked up people and he's like you know what fuck this yeah fuck, yeah that's the best way to describe it. just fuck this i'm done uh i i know some people have problems with the uh the whole mother aspect of the movie uh that uh, at least for the trailer um and i'm okay with that it seemed i at first i thought maybe she was just like maybe she's older so she can't do that stuff and he can't afford to put her in a home for people to do that stuff like wash her a lot of people have problems with the bathing scene which is whatever um i just i just i found it more just like that's his only real friend like because life is so shitty he's kind of weird skinny you know he's he probably has that you kind know of, uh, that, that's the point that's the point of joker is that if, if people are like that's weird it's like well that's the point is yeah, joker's joker. a fucking weird motherfucker like you're not supposed to he just does these really awkward he's just socially awkward does not understand a lot of these things well i think a lot of people think joker's only like like he, he's a bad guy but he's also really funny but like after Dark Knight, people stop thinking that because he's fucking homicidal. Um, but I think still there, there's still people out there that think like of the Mark Hamill, like from the Batman animated series, kind of Joker. I think a Joker like, with green hair. That's like yeah, that, that's like a spiky hair. Like, <laughs> yeah. Just, you know, they still think of him like even like Jack Nicholson. I mean, he shoots people sometimes, but he's still over the top. Side like, side note, uh, isn't the Dark Knight re-release coming out soon? No, it already came out. Oh, what the fuck? I missed it. God well, damn it. Yeah, it was like last year. It was the 10 year anniversary. That's why. Oh, you're right. No, I guess I didn't have it in my theater then. Yeah, huh. it had it in my theater. I was going to go see it, but I just I didn't go around to it. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, what a good fucking movie. Uh, no, I get that. And yeah, no, people just got to kind of. And you know what's funny is that uh, Jared Leto's Joker kind of brought that back again, where it was like <laughs> this kooky, kind of, you know, wacky Joker. But. Yeah. Uh, Gangster Joker? <laughs> yeah. I don't want no beef. You don't want no beef. <laughs> Fuck out of here. <laughs> you don't want no beef. <laughs> no, it, it, it feels. It Joker feels... should never say you don't want no beef. <laughs> Ever. Right. Um, I don't Ever. know. No excuse. It'll be interesting. I'm curious where they're going to go with it. Are we going to actually see Batman at all? Are we going to. Well, no. You, you, oh, you, just, did, you just did the whole blurry background. Uh, oh. Oh. Uh, 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 uh. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm trying to fix it while talking. I don't. Uh, I don't know why. I don't know if they're gonna have Batman in it. I don't know if they're gonna have Harley Quinn in it at all. It's like a it's like a final like. I don't think so. I mean, they show Batman as a kid, and and the guy on the TV talking about like Gotham is shitty. That's his dad. So, I think they're gonna end it with trying to tie it in with him killing his parents. Okay. Oh, would they show him on the t- the TV? With, like looking at it like oh the city's corrupt or whatever, and, and, and I have a feeling he's gonna think that. Or maybe it is true that Thomas Wayne, that's his father, uh, uh, Bruce Wayne's father, um, is like corrupt. Maybe he's going to go after him. And maybe that's how the movie will end well, and tie it in like that way. Because in the original Batman movie, the 1989 one, Joker's the one that kills his parents, even though it's 
some guy named Joe Chill in the comics. He's just some right. guy. Um, but in, in this, I, I think they're going to go with that. And I think that'll work, actually, if it's going to be its own standalone thing. Um, yeah, that'd be a good ending. Um, I wasn't curious. I, I, w- I didn't know about the background of uh, of um, Jokers. I wasn't sure how long he was going, but that makes sense then. There's so many background. Like, well, first of all, most of the time you don't even know who he is, but uh, like you don't, you just don't know. You're like, I don't know, this guy could be anybody. Uh, yeah, that's the cool thing about the Dark Knight is that like he has like multiple different like backstories. Like, my right. father was a drinker, and a, a, oh. I cut my face off to make myself look like smiley for cut my wife. My face in two pieces. Yeah, he sang it. It was weird when he sung that song <laughs> in Dark Knight. Um, cut my life in two pieces. This is my last ha ha. <laughs> and they threw that bitch off the roof. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, but I'm, it looks promising. I'm, I'm super excited for it. Yeah, no, it looks great. I, I will say one thing, like the uh, the laugh. Because everybody talks about like you, you gotta get the Joker laugh right. You gotta get it right, and and when he laughs that one time while he's darting his eyes back around, I can't even like, no one can mim- mimic that creepy ass laugh. I don't think he's like, <laughs> he's like darting his eyes around. I'm like Jesus Christ, that's about five million times better than Jared Leto's like, nah, 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 nah. right? That fucking stupid ass laugh. Um, it's really good. We don't know if he's and- confirmed back, right? I don't think I don't think I I I, I could have just heard recently that that it's not happening, right? Jared Lowe is done. You're talking I don't about Jared know. Lowe. I don't know. I he know, seemed I, to like it though. No, I think it's done. I, not that Jared Lowe said I'm done. I think supposedly he's just not. Because they I don't know what the fuck's going on with Suicide Squad too, but like they got some weird like recastings oh. and like. Well, I I I trust in James Gunn to do it, but uh, I just want I just don't know what what's going on. It's not even recasting anymore. Idris Elba is not even playing the same character. He's playing a different character. They just announced that recently. Yeah, no, that's so, what I'm saying. I don't understand what the fuck's going on with it. I, that's, yeah. that's what I meant with it. But uh, uh, I know James Gunn knows what he's doing, though, so. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. And he knows how to make uh, this stuff work. Right. I think. All right, so that's Joker. Uh, let's let's talk about this, because I didn't know this was a thing, was The Dead Don't Die. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Jim Jarmusch. Yeah, that, uh, what a good trailer. <laughs> it's, weird, it's weird to see this, because Jim Jarmusch doesn't do this kind of stuff. He, he did, like... I don't know, uh, Dead Man. You've probably never seen any of the movies he's uh, made. Uh, he, he's made some movies that... John Wick 1. Yeah, he, uh, Avengers, Infinity War. You've never, never seen heard of these. Yeah. Um, Schindler's List. All the best movies. Saving Private Ryan. Ryan. Saving Ryan. Shaving Ryan's Private. <laughs> That's my favorite one. Pop That's Star. my favorite Spielberg. Phone Booth. Oh, Pop Star? Phone Booth. <laughs> God damn, he has good, he has good wide variety there. Uh, no, so go ahead. So what's what what he made? Uh, he's made Dead Man, Only Lovers Left Alive. You, you know, you probably don't know any of these movies. That's fine. But anyway, it, it, his stuff it has some comedy in it, sure. But this one looks straight up like from point A to point B. This movie. It's got a very Zombie Land vibe to it, but not I mean, like a, not not that over the top though. Yeah, and, and I, it has a very uh, what's the other movie I was thinking of? I think I even said it there in my trailer reaction. God, what the fuck? It reminded me of a. Uh, Something. Mm, I can't think of it. What is it? What is it? I can't, whatever. Fuck it. It has a very comedic tone to it, but it looks like it might take the horror right. Like it, it might the horror stuff. It might treat like it's a horror thing. Okay. Like uh, like Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters right. isn't a horror movie, but it treats the the ghost stuff seriously for the most part. And a lot of things I mean, were scary in Ghostbusters. Yeah, I man. Freaking um, the the librarian in the beginning. Um, fucking make people shit I, their dude, pants. you know, you know what I'm. What makes me just most happy about this trailer is, uh, I love that Adam Driver's like, you know what, I made all the money I ever need off off Star Wars. He's doing the yeah, the, the Daniel Radcliffe thing, where he's like, I made all the money I need to, so I'm gonna do all the weird shit now. And you can tell yeah. he loves it too. Yeah. All right. I think the flashing might stop. Let's see. That doesn't right, look. That doesn't look. Well, I, I, oh, oh no, it's back. I don't see it. You don't see it? No, I didn't see any of that. You just you waving around. Oh, okay. <laughs> it, it was there? No. Did you see it again? No. No? All right, good. All right, good. <laughs> I, I hope it doesn't happen like throughout the entire podcast. So no, I, like, I, I've only seen a couple like, little I keep flips. seeing it on my end. For yeah, some it's, not, it's not on my end. The only, the only thing that's weird about my end, in fact, let me see if I can change that. Yeah, I can. Is that you weren't widescreen because I was not adjusted. Because seeing as this call is not a... 
is only us. It's not used to being only only like that only small. Two people. Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah. Anyway. So now it's super cool to see App Driver and like in those those cool roles. And yeah, the way he said ghouls is I don't know why. Just something about it just makes me giggle. Just ghouls. No, he didn't say. It. Yeah, there the, the might be zombies. Zombies? Yeah, you know. Ghouls. Ghouls. <laughs> <laughs> I just like Adam Driver a lot. Yeah, he's great. <laughs> I really like. He's that. really great. And, and he's easily my favorite part of the new Star Wars movies. Uh, he might be one of my favorite actors. Right no, now. I was I was gonna say that right now. I was like, he's, he's jumping up there with the, like one of my favorite lists because man, him and Black Klansman as well, dude. Yeah, yeah he's great. I, he it. was in actually another Jim Jarmusch movie called Patterson that came out a couple years ago. Paddington. I, yeah, Paddington. He was he played Paddington. He's just I like marmalade, you know, <laughs> whatever. It's just, or whatever. Come on, Ray. Come to the dark side, idiot. Um, uh, a lot, a fucking great cast. Yeah, Bill Murray. Who is the? Uh, all right, I keep forgetting who the pop star. Not pop star. I'm sorry. Iggy. Uh, it, it is Iggy Pop. Okay, I was gonna say Iggy that. Pop, Selena pop. Gomez. Yeah, it's Selena Gomez. Uh, um, oh god. Uh, the the woman. She, uh, I forgot her name. She's a woman. <laughs> what is it? What is it? <laughs> what, is it? <laughs> what, what, what is her? Hold on. I'm going to look. I'll pull it up right now. No, I'm going to pull it up right now. You shut up. All right. No, you put it up right now. <laughs> anyway, uh, the, the trailer uh, is really funny. It has a. It, it doesn't have like a. Tilda Swinton. Oh, Tilda Clo- Swinton. Thank Clo- you. That's her. That's okay. her. That's her. I love Tilda Swinton when she she whips out the fucking she like when uh, when she's like disem not disemboweling disembalming or embalming whatever the the corpses and they come back to life and like, she's like what is this some like joke or whatever it's uh, I don't know it's good uh, I should rewatch these trailers before <laughs> we, we talk about them but yeah it's no, about no. a week since I watched it. Oh, that, 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 was, that was a good trailer though, and I, I liked a lot of the comedic timings into it. It look it looks fun. It looks a lot of fun, and yeah, that's definitely I, on my on my list now. She got that sword at the end too. I remember that, right? Yeah. Is she like killing killing zombies with yeah. sword. Yeah. I, I liked all uh, when when Adam Driver swinging, like man, you got yeah. an arm on you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Little League. <laughs> that's good. All right. all right. So that's the Dead Don't Die trailer. So that this, comes this, June, this, by the way. Right. I have I'll have that on a thing we're gonna talk about at the very end of this. Uh, let's talk. Let's just let's just go over the Hellboy. Uh, I get what what they call it. Uh, sizzle reel. Sizzle R- reel. No, super R rated sizzle reel. So there's not much to say about this. It's probably like a minute long, but uh, god damn, dude, this is some look at some moral combat shit going on right now. Yo, if, uh, that, all right. The one thing I'm worried about is that everything you saw there is it's gonna the be best. in one scene. Yeah. Because it look it looks like it's all takes place on the same street, and it's just like. Like the 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 dead rise and whatever. I can see it because he's gonna run down there and he's gonna see all that yeah. shit go down and that's amazing. Yeah, yeah. He rip that dude's face off, like skin that dude with the. You know I what? Mean, some horrific that's gonna shit. be because it's coming IMAX, right? Oh yeah. <laughs> I, that's gonna be a good ass IMAX weekend. I mean, you know what's weird though is that like the special effects are very corny looking. It, it, they remind me a little bit of Shazam's special effects with right. some of the creatures. Very obviously like their special effects, but they don't bother me because they're so out of. They're just so out of this world anyway. Like, just the creatures. Like, you have that one giant thing walking through the city and stuff, ripping faces off. Like, I'm okay with that. I, and, and especially if it has, like, its own style to it, where it looks like it's coming straight from, like, a graphic novel. And, it, like, even the, the scene in the beginning of the trailer where Mila Jovovich is, like, getting cut in parts. Right. And putting her yeah. in a box and she's screaming. I was just like, I hope they, I mean, I know they're going to have a comedic, it's gonna be very comedic, the movie. I mean, you can see the other trailers and and tell that, but I hope they go full on with it. Like, I want everything to be stupid, fucking dumb, goofy, right. <laughs> dog shit. I want it to be dumb because the original Hellboy movies are goofy and and they are very much Guillermo del Toro movies. <laughs> like, if you watch it, you watch another Guillermo del Toro movie, like even even Shape of Water, but like Pan's Labyrinth or uh, um, some of his earlier stuff. Like, you could tell like scary it, stories tell in the dark. Yeah. <laughs> well, he didn't direct that. I he know. did. He did. Don't be afraid of the dark, though. I don't think he directed that either, but he produced that, uh, which is about the Tooth Fairy. Watch out, they'll come. Um, not, is not don't be afraid of. In. Is don't be afraid of the dark a book? I don't know. That sounds like a book. Probably. Yeah. Wasn't there an old TV show called Don't Be Afraid of the Dark? You're you're talking about um, 
Are You Afraid of the Dark? Are You Afraid of the Dark? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Never mind. Uh, all right, so it's not based on anything. Um, it, lo- it uh, looks, yeah. it looks fun though, and and you could tell this like it, it yeah. it's not gonna be the most like visually appealing just because like there's a lot. Like, obviously, they didn't have the biggest budget for this, but uh, no. I I do hope it does well though. I genuinely I wonder, hope it does well. I really want to know what the budget was. Like, I mean, I, it's not out yet, but I really want to know because I heard it's less than the budget of the original Hellboy. I bet. That had a pretty small budget, so. No, this is uh, definitely like, an experiment to be like, hey, let's see if people even give a fuck about this. Yeah, especially since it's R-rated, like it. Like, you can't even market it like it's a, a regular like Marvel or DC movie. I think it is a DC property, but uh, you can't even like p- promote it as one of those because it's like kids are gonna go in and immediately he's like <sighs> banging a, banging a woman in a bloodbath. Hell and, yeah, brother! Okay, <laughs> riding a dragon through a hell swarm. Like, That's what I wanted I, in my DC movie. Dude, I want to see that dragon. Yeah, I was surprised to see that visual shot of him riding a dragon with this giant swarm of like like demons yeah. or whatever i'm like i thought this was supposed to be a small budget <laughs> they said fuck that i hope i hope it didn't all just fall into like those three scenes though yeah i i don't see how that would make any sense like right. oh how would they like how would they make it make sense to the story that he just drew he flew on right. a dragon and jumped on the thing because so, so, some of the effects are garbo it's there's like the scene oh, where, yeah. he, where he finds the giant thing out in the field it's like Ugh, oh yeah Ugh. with his face yeah like something from the hobbit like, yeah so but but yeah. i'm 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 excited that's gonna be a good watch this weekend Oh, yeah, um yeah, yeah. all right yeah, yeah. Uh, now we have it's gonna uh, be a really bad watch we'll see so <laughs> this is the one stuff. you told me about and it's funny because uh i saw sigma post about this was stuber stuber because I, I i watched uh my spy because i saw you react to it so i was like oh i guess i'll just watch it we can talk yeah. about that too in the same you want to talk about it? yeah let's talk about both yeah i see but i thought because i saw batista in there and i saw sigma post uh batista's doing a uh, movie about uber and i was like that wasn't a movie about uber <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it was technically kind of not really about Uber. No, 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 no. Like, it's because I thought he was talking about my spy because I didn't know oh, I know I know he was in Stuber. Oh, uh, okay. You okay. know what? Okay. And, and for a split second, in my in 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 you know what? In an alternate reality, Stuber is like the prequel or sequel to uh. Uh, Duber. No, what the fuck is the what the fuck is my favorite movie that year? What is it? What... <laughs> What's your favorite movie? Oh, oh what... Lady Bird. No, what the fuck is the other movie he was in? Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah, I hate you. <laughs> you big sick, you mean? <laughs> yeah, I don't know why I was. That. I, I don't know why. You know, because I have a long list of movies right here. I just couldn't think of the big of the big sick. You know, this is this is a sequel. This is a prequel to that movie. <laughs> <laughs> it's a prequel. This is before he met her. <laughs> yeah, I, I love that. I I love Maybe that. This is that after he met her, and he was just like, oh, geez, I, I love that Kumal always. Kumal always loves the idea of just Uber drivers. Like it just whatever reason, it just, just makes him laugh. <laughs> yeah, I think it's a great premise. Oh, 100%. Because like, you know what's funny? Is it all happens in one day. Yeah. Either way, they say that close. You know, this is the longest day of this guy's life. <laughs> you know what You know what it reminded me of? Do you, do you remember that movie, 30 Minutes or Less, I think it's called? No. Do you, ever, you never even heard of that movie? It's uh, Jesse Eisenberg and uh, like Danny McBride, a couple of people. You know Danny McBride, right? Yeah. So, this is the end. He's, yeah, there you go. Thank you. Yeah, t- Channing Tate Yum. I, I love that movie. <laughs> It's such a good fucking movie. <laughs> he made Shannon Tatum his fucking bitch. <laughs> and a real Shannon <laughs> Tatum too. Hey guys. <laughs> yeah, a real one. Hey it wasn't even like a like, fake one. They could just like they could just like get the mask on and said that's him, but no, it was, it was really him. And that was back when people still didn't really like him. Even after Twenty One Jump Street, we were like, hey, he was good in that, but he's been shitting a lot of movies. And then he shows up in that, you're like, all right, I kind of like. Him. Yeah, no, no. He's, nah, he's show, won but... our hearts. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, back to it. It, it. It's very similar. It's about like a. Not similar, but it has a very similar like dark tone to it, where it's like a, a guy, a pizza guy that gets like like a bomb suit strapped to him and told to rob a bank or something like that, and, and he has to do it. Um, and it oh, I've heard about similar, that. Has a very similar feel. Was that good? Because I, I remember hearing about that. Not no. really, but uh, it had a, a unique premise, and it had a very dark premise too, which this one not as dark, sure. It's gonna be a, a comedy. Little, even though, yeah, he, he he's forcing that. Hey, you got your first stuff. shot, man. He's he's forcing that dude to fucking like fight crime lords and shit. So that's pretty fun. But uh, is this yeah. an is this an Uber? Yeah, I, you know what, what happened? Funny? Uh, you selected the pool option, sir. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's fun. Like, Get out! <laughs> I really, you know what? What I really hope happens at the end is that they go through all this emotional like 
action and drama and stuff like that. He's like, it's great to meet you, Stu. And he like shakes his hand and he leaves and he gives him like a one star on Hoover. That's he's like, motherfucker. And it ends. I bet that's exactly how it ends. He gives him, maybe he gives him a four star. Maybe that's funnier. He gives him four stars. You know, he, he helped him through the whole thing. Um, but anyway, yeah, no, the, the trailer was fun. I, I, I could see that movie not being very good though. I can see yeah. it. But I don't know. I, I have I have faith in Kamal. Yeah, I mean, it, it did show at South by Southwest and has like five reviews and it has like sixty percent right now on Tomatoes. But that's that sounds five about right. I, as we saw with Pet Cemetery, that doesn't mean shit because that had a hundred percent for like weeks and now it's like bare, it's fighting that fresh. Uh, fighting the fight, fresh. It's fighting for it. I, I like that. Uh, I like that. Fighting for fresh. Fighting for fresh. Sequel. Uh, it, it looks fun. This is also now on my list, so I'm excited. Yeah, yeah, it's a, it's it looks good and and even my spy like my spy look like and it will be that kid friendly like a movie that Vin Diesel would say yes to like ten years ago like right. a movie where it's just like there's a spy and there's a girl he has to protect the girl but she's precocious and smart and better than him you like things. that word don't you I, I like yeah I mean it's a good it's a good word but it also fits for both of the movies that we I, I used it for because she's like oh she's all like she's smart and you know she's I got she, I know I know what you're saying she's yeah got the, she's got the upper hand on him a couple times in the trailer but there was some dark humor in there that I was expecting like when he suggested the killer like I was like Jesus he's like yeah we kill her <laughs> we're supposed to like this guy I'm still here <laughs> <laughs> we're right here <laughs> I I, I the line uh, uh she's recording no don't say anything dumb she might be streaming. <laughs> <laughs> that's good i like even the last line where he's like dancing and it looks like the wedding from shrek <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's, it's funny um but yeah, yeah. nothing not much to say about that i i like the premise i i was seeing uh i saw shots and i, I forgot all about this movie because i remember i saw uh stills from from the set uh it looks interesting i i like i, I feel like it's gonna have a lot of if, if not if it's not a good movie it's gonna have a lot of really funny moments between us too which I'm oh, fine yeah, with. Yeah, yeah. yeah cute, cute moments. There's gonna right. be a, a, a nice bonding. There's gonna be right. bombs. James Bonds. James James Bonds. Well, all right. I'm sure they can make a James Bond joke in there too. So that's that's Stuber. And it's my spy. The and my same spy, I guess. Yeah. Thing. It's right. like if you took Stuber and made Kumail Nanjiani into some white girl. <laughs> uh, is she, she white? white? Actually, no, she wasn't white. <laughs> oh, see, I don't remember things. <laughs> um. All right. So then, in end my game. eyes and out my brain completely. <laughs> Endgame had its, I guess, its final. It wasn't a trailer, but I guess it still was. It had enough new footage to be a trailer. Special look. It's called special. Look. I wasn't gonna. I didn't know telling you this. I wasn't gonna watch this because I was like, I think I'm good. I want to go in like that. But sure enough, like my YouTube fucking filled up with like like shots of. Uh, Did you notice this? Ja- has see a giant, Man? giant fucking arrow pointing into like like Captain America's face. You Captain. see Captain America? Did you see his nostril? Yeah. He has like a speck of dirt. So I'm like, and like I had, to, I had to, I had to watch it because I'm like, right, I already saw these shots, and I'm like, I'm sure the trailer is still good, so I'm, I might as well watch it and enjoy the reactions to it. Um, it was fucking good, and it was we gotta see our boy, <laughs> we gotta see our boy talking some mad shit. And I know you yeah, say that in, in the TV spots, he talks even more shit. And I'm yeah. like, fuck yeah, dude, dude, yeah. Uh, yeah, you fucking go, dude, you fucking kick these guys' asses, talk some, talk as much shit as you want, yeah, yeah. dude, you fucking you earned it. Hawkeye's daughter. Yeah, you yeah. fucking, you fucking rocked this motherfuckers out, dude. <laughs> but um, you know, it was it was definitely a lot more than I was ex- expecting because they were on a roll with just not showing shit. Yeah. Uh, this it one showed a lot more. more. It's not a trailer. I wasn't yeah. expecting them to show this so much. This was a lot more, and uh, but you know what? It was shots that we still expected. You know, we still all we know exactly where all this stuff's gonna happen. And that's yeah. fine. Um, the one thing, the one thing I'm slightly not I'm slightly concerned about is uh. Uh, I hope that the entire fight with Thanos doesn't just happen in that one world, you know? Oh, Titan! I think it's supposed to be Titan. Yeah, whatever it is, because that gives me that. And this is the, this is a terrible comparison, and I, I don't I apologize in advance. It gives me a uh, Fantastic Four vibes, where they take the final battle and go somewhere else with it. And it's right, like right. It, it was cool with uh, Infinity War because it was only half the battle. You know, half of it takes place on Wakanda, half of it takes place on there, and it was a good little half and half, and I was fine. Um, I just really hope it doesn't just all focus on that, cause I'm, dude, I'm genuinely, cause I don't know where this movie's gonna go. Like in the I middle, I don't either. <laughs> I don't understand. I'm, like, trying to figure it out. Yeah, cause like it's funny, cause Marvel movies are the easiest things to pinpoint, and I'm sure after we watch, yeah. it, it's like, yeah, but like I don't get. It. It's not gonna be a whole movie of them rallying together and going after Thanos. Like they gotta lose again. Like there's gonna be another loss somewhere here. 
I, or there might be a, like some mystery bad guy in this, like that we there don't has, know about. We have a three-hour movie, and it's like, yeah, we have to bring Cap and uh, Nebula over to uh, to Earth. We suit up, but then there's like, but do they suit up and go just to fight Thanos, or do they do they go to the quantum realm or some shit like I that? Think, all right, I think what this is what I pieced together from my own interpretation of the trailers and also some other theories. So I'm not, I'm not going to take credit for some of this, but uh, the whole, the whole them going to the quantum realm, that's probably gonna be like halfway through the movie. I think, I think they're going to have a fight with Thanos and it's going to be, it's going to be like their first battle. I think like, they're going to lose to Thanos I think, again. I think Thanos is going to lose, but I think he's going to retreat because there's going to be something to do with the infinity gauntlet where maybe he, because he used it that one time, he, he can't use it right now or something. Okay. There's going to be some, I think Thanos is going to lose whatever first fight, maybe because they just have Captain Marvel there. Like it, you hear it, that or, or it could go, it's going to, so they're going to fight one more time before the ending. Like it has yeah. to, I feel like they're going to fight again. And I don't know. I think that maybe Thanos wins again. Maybe, maybe Thanos, Thanos dips. wins again the first. Because I, because it, cause it could thing. happen. It could happen that Thanos wins and they could go back. They're like, all right, we need to do quantum realm shit. Like we can't beat this motherfucker. Yeah. And the, yeah. the way I think, well, no, what I think is that they do beat him, but they can't use the gauntlet for whatever reason. So beating him didn't matter. They can't use it, so they have to go back anyway. And that's when they have Tony because they they're going with their way to fight Thanos. Because after Captain Marvel shows up, she wants she she's probably like the headstrong one that wants to go out and fight Thanos because because she never she, fought him and didn't see all her took friends her, fucking took her die. Man too. Yeah. <laughs> but uh took, took her man. <laughs> you, you crazy <laughs> motherfucker they just that motherfucker killed us uh he, I don't give a fuck. um so by the way this this is the movie where she becomes a badass i have a feeling because oh i i felt it 100 she, she's she's cool in the first first in her movie i i get it, but she's not anything original i'm standing badass. my ground i'm gonna fucking feel so good when i'm like you motherfuckers i told you she's I, cl- fucking she's fucking cool I not you specifically i'm be, talking about i'm talking about the internet in general yeah yeah i i never said she couldn't i just don't think like when she's, they're saying like she's gonna be the leader from now on, I'm just like, oh, cool it. Let's wa- let's watch the next Avengers first, and then say that. You know um, what I mean? I will like, say that. Also, side note, I'm upset that her movie sucked. <laughs> yeah, that movie <laughs> sucked. <laughs> um, oh, Captain Shazam is better than so, Captain Marvel. No, 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 no not like, that. I'm saying her uh, her unicorn store. Oh, did you see that? No, I heard it was bad though. Oh, okay, I didn't see it. Yeah, I heard it. It was pretty disappointing. Um, it has, it has, her, has her boy in there though. Yeah, it's funny. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. You know they got they I'm got assuming, along on that set, and they was like, "Hey, let's do a movie." I'm assuming that was like right after they filmed. She was yeah, like, they, they got yeah, they got I mean, along. Um, you want to be in my movie? He's like, so, "Yeah, sure, I'll be in anything." Fuck yeah, it. that that sucks. But um, no, so like, they got to fight Thanos. They're gonna do quantum realm shit. Now here's here's the thing that I think is gonna happen, and I'm not sure if it is. We're gonna recreate these battles. I think. I think we're just gonna get recreated battles that we've had before. Well, I mean, we already know there that uh, there's gonna be t- some sort of time travel, right? Right, but <laughs> like, so so Battle so, for New York is gonna happen, I think. I think that's where the yeah. background when you see when you see Tony and and Cap shaking hands, you shake hands. That's Battle Tony's of America older. or Battle of New York, Do right there. Do you think there. like something's gonna happen where Tony has to like wait until he can time travel? That's why he looks older, because you see him, he has gray. He has hair. gray ass he hair, has, yeah. His hair is much. It could also just be him. fucking stress that he just fucking donezo. Yeah, I, I, yeah. Because we also I, don't know I, I, how we don't know how long he's been in space too. That's true. Well, I mean, but you do see him. To be fair, he does tell you how long it's. I mean, he doesn't tell you exactly how long it's been in space, but he says he's been in there for a long time. But you don't see, you see him in the first trailer, but he doesn't have the gray hair or anything. Right. So and I, I have a there's... feeling like right after that, whatever him and what's her name Nebula does helps get them saved because you, right. you see them in the the big game ad they're working on something both right them in the spaceship. Nah, that's obviously them fixing shit up yeah it's a, they're doing something but i don't think it's going to save them i think what's going to happen is that when they're going like every cap and all the uh, cap and the boys go to fight thanos uh the new philly, philly what, show, was nebula called? in there huh was nebula in the no i don't think she was there that could be something then no i don't think i, I think along the way they just find them but I, no, I no, 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 no. They don't. No, no, because they that that shot where they had that 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 ship coming into to that city, and they had that whole thing where they're standing outside Avengers I think headquarters. Be Thanos. But they had all. Like, but they're all they're all holding hands and shit out there though too. In, at the end of this this special look, he teleports in. It looks like he's teleporting in or whatever. I think that's Thanos showing up. Like 
for whatever reason. I have no idea why. But you, you look at that. I know you talk about the ship and Captain America's. Like, and then they're all hanging out there outside, though, like outside in the field, like hugging. I, and I think it's them. Oh, 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 I don't remember that. Yeah, we're, <laughs> we're, we're, we're Rocket and Nebula hold hands and uh, and Pepper and, and Tony hug. Wait, wait, it's out. It's outside in a field, which is, I think Rocket that's and Nebula holding hands. They don't like each other. Yeah, but they lost everyone. Yeah, and I guess yeah, that's true. That's where they're going to bond. But uh, that's what I thought. You know what? It could be misleading, though. We could we could also be, be misled, which yeah, is cool. Yeah, I, I, I feel like that more, makes more sense. But I guess it, it, Tony Tony getting out of a sticky situation again for the last time, I guess, would be good, too. Because I mean, the first time you see him, he's getting out of that cave. And now he's right. getting out of space. But uh, <laughs> I think I – think because there's also a shot in the uh, – in the uh, – the sec- I forget if it's this trailer or the the second trailer where uh you see Thor looking at Stormbreaker or looking all like huh I think that's also recreating the the Battle of Wakanda. Okay. So I have a feeling. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know you're talking about. Yeah. yeah. So I have a feeling that maybe there's it'll be a good really way to celebrate ahead. too. You know, it's a good way to celebrate is have them recreate all these battles that they did, but fucking just get do them better. You know, yeah, like aim for the head this time. Yeah, stuff like, stuff like that. Like, you know, wherever they fall. Imagine faulted. that's how Thanos goes out, though. A giant axe to his fucking face. <laughs> like, how would they even film that? Like, that would be a rated R shot. Like, Fuck it. <laughs> fuck it. Well, this one shot is rated R. Everything else is PG-13. This one shot, though, man, you see. Because they're going to have to show that, right? It's not just going to be implied. They'll show, like... I have a feeling that's going to happen. I don't know. <laughs> I have a feeling he's gonna get he's gonna, he's gonna get it in the head. Right, but I but that's that's the cool thing about about Endgame right now. Is I don't know where the fuck we're going with it. I have There's no idea. So Thor many fucking how how fuck how the fuck does does Scott get out of the quantum realm to begin with? Uh, I have a feeling it's just gonna be he figures it out because he figured it out the first time. Remember in Ant Man one. But he had that thing with him. Maybe he had the thing with him again. But I feel like that's a cop out for him for ha- for have however much how however much of, he had that the thing where he grows bigger. What doesn't he just have that in the suit now though? I feel like if it was that, it would. It does because he he gets bigger whenever he wants, right? So I think he just has that in his suit now, or right? he like turns it up, or whatever. Uh, yeah, I. Feel I don't like. know if that's a cop out. They were they already made it apparent that. But you then when they that, had made that big of an importance of them, like, all right, now make sure you bring me out here this last second. Like I feel like that's not really an importance if they were if there was like, oh, just push the button back and you're back. Well, they didn't make it seem like it was just a push a button because then he, then he said like there's a potential that I I I die from this like all I the guess. molecules in my body like. <laughs> I, I, hope like, like go- I hope it's someone like I hope it's someone like Ghost or someone that helps him out. Oh yeah, Ghost, that'd be cool. All right. I don't know if they want to add her into this. Imagine, imagine it's uh, imagine it's Valkyrie. Why is she here? Like, he's in, he's in some of the. Up. Oh, it's what's his name? Korg. Rockman. Yeah, Korg. Like, hey, Korg man. and Meek. <laughs> I have a door out of the God, uh, dude. Find them room. I coming? swear to God, I'm not gonna. I will clap so hard if Korg, Meek, Korg, Meek, and and uh, Valkyrie. No, 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 no. Luis. <laughs> if they show up together in a fucking shot, I'm fucking losing it. I'm losing my goddamn mind. Why is if Luis got dusted though? <sighs> well, Korg. Korg, got, Korg is rock though. Does that count? <laughs> He's living, so I you guess. Know, so. You know, if they show Korg getting dusted and, and Meek sad, I'm gonna fucking, I'm gonna fucking, I'm gonna get so heated, dude. I'm like fucking kill Thanos, just kill him, now, just fucking it just shoot be him. Okay, if Korg says something really funny while he's getting dusted. No. He's just like, oh man, that sucks. Uh, no. Kill Thanos, <laughs> kill the fuck out of him. Just fucking well, shoot Thanos him in the balls. Snaps his fingers and brings back Korg. Just. He's like, oh, that guy's funny. Yeah, that guy. You know what? I fucked up. He, was, he watched Thor Ragnarok. He felt bad. <laughs> oh, uh, man. But yeah, it's 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 kind of cool to see other. We just have no idea. It, it can go anywhere. I'm super excited. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, we're getting close, uh, brother. Oh, yeah. Only All two right. More weeks. Speaking of Endgame, those, those fucking tickets came out. Let's talk about the ticket situation. Uh, I got my ticket. I don't know. How'd that, how'd that work out for you? Because I know you had a lot easier time than a lot of America. Uh. All right, well, not that I had an easier time. It's just like at first I thought I was screwed because my my theater wasn't like they weren't selling the tickets at first, uh, and I was like that sucks. And I just kept checking and checking, and then I, I, I around like 5 p.m. Eastern, they're like, all right, they're good. I was like, oh, thanks. Just yeah, I mean, at least I know I'm definitely getting a ticket now because I'm like one of the first. Um, but for some reason, they just took a long time. I mean, it's a kind of a shitty theater, so I get it. But it's a theater I always go to when I know. You know it's your shit still sells out, so. 
yeah so I, that's where i went for shazam too with day one and by the way nobody was in my theater uh the second time i saw it um which that was depressing but it did well so it doesn't matter um so yeah avengers uh i got my ticket uh it was okay for me but i heard it was a fucking nightmare for some dude for sure. um so i liked out so casey i i how hold on how the fuck is i asked you guys but how, how did everyone know? I, 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 I knew they were doing it eight. I didn't. Uh, how I, though? I follow a couple of twitters, but it was it was kind of going around. I saw a lot of people talking about. it. I just thought you fucking heard. About no, because so I, I I was looking up literally that night. Like that night, I was like, huh, I wonder what time it is, and no one said any time. There was a rumor there's gonna be a new trailer that day too. So I was like, all right, right. I mean, I'll get up. For, I want to get the tickets, but uh, I'll get up for the trailer too. Right. No, no one. I didn't know about anything. I looked it up the night before, like literally like hours before, looking up to see, and no one had a solid answer on that. And then so I was like, all right. I guess I'll just fucking I'll just get out of work like or I'll try to sneak out of work for a little bit and and see it and then sure enough Casey posted hey tickets are up I'm like fuck and I I almost hit snooze on my alarm because I was like I'm just gonna sleep for a bit longer saw yeah. that and sure enough like it was hell like everything was loading slow I went to um I went to Fandango this is before they fucking had a meltdown what? I click I picked my seats in D box and I was like I don't it didn't occur to me because it was slow and slow but I didn't really think about it. I was like Maybe it's cheaper if I booked through Cinemark directly. So I, I, I canceled the tickets on Fandango and went to Cinemark. <laughs> right. And then that was loading slow. And I was like, oh, and I looked at the tickets I was at. And it was still being held on my Fandango account. So to go back on my Fandango, cancel the order completely, go back on Cinemark, reload that, book it, and then get it all done. But I did it so early enough that, that people didn't load it up. And I was kind of curious. So at, at, like, I was looking up throughout the day. And you, and uh, for concerts, if it's ever like a big concert, like it'll have you wait in that virtual line where it's like, yeah, like an yeah. hour until yeah. you're in. Dude, it had that, that with Comic Con tickets. Yeah, me. it had that going for fucking Endgame. It was fucking. Yeah, nuts. I saw some pictures. There, there were like, some you that have were a like forty-three minute wait time. I'm no, like, I. Fuck you. At one like point, I I was checking AMC. At one point, it was over an hour. Jesus Christ. AMC got hit fucking hard because of all the the stubs list. I know, yeah. Or the A list. I try. I tried to get my ticket through there. I did eventually for Sunday, so I could I could see it again in IMAX. Oh, I could see it again. No, so A list, I wasn't worried about at all because my AMC, I told you, is 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 like slow. No one goes to it. Yeah. And so, like, I could check. I, I'm gonna check right now, actually, and then I'm sure I can actually get like opening tickets still, like right now. Yeah, um, but, yeah I, but I'm sure. I'm sure I probably could too. But I, I'm gonna see it again on Friday at the same theater with the with Familia. With the boys. So with the no, with the Familia. I'm with seeing the it with the boys on Thursday. I uh I I always boys I, on Thursday, Familia Friday, Sunday by myself. Me. Monday with the chicks. With the with the dicks. Me. <laughs> 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 Thursday with the dicks, Friday with the chicks, Sunday with family. <laughs> well, one for me, <laughs> and, and one for me. <laughs> um, let's see. I'm gonna check really quick right now. You do that, um, baby. Okay, so for the first opening, I don't know if you could tell. For the first opening, there it's it's almost packed, but you can see a couple of open. Oh, okay. There's a couple open so, so, seats so, in there. So okay, the the ones that that's are the very out. that's the very first six o'clock Thursday showing. But like for the next day, and what time? Like I guess what's a good time for that? Uh, oh whoops, uh like 7 p.m. I guess for Friday when all the people are like, oh I'm gonna go watch it after work on there. Like I'm pretty sure it's like, yeah I can still book a ticket. Like there's still, it's 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 filled, but I can still I'll probably book okay, it right so now. Okay, so so the white are the ones that are filled, right? Right. Okay. I'll probably book that right now, actually. Um, go ahead. See you another time. Hell yeah. Well, I'm, I'm going to go all weekend. See you five more times. Hell yeah, brother. Maybe maybe, maybe one time you go there, Captain America won't get shot in the face. So we, I don't we, think, we, I don't think, I don't think Cap's dying. I think he is. I think Cap's done. I don't, I don't think Cap's dying. I think Tony's done. I think everybody's going to die. The only one that will be left is War Machine. I knew you were going to say War Machine. And he'll usher in a new era, except they'll recast him for the next movie. Oh man, I'm, I'm gonna Terrence watch. Howard. I'm gonna watch Endgame all weekend. Hey man, I'm Terrence Howard. I'm back. So the pre-order tickets beat the the Force Awakens in six hours. Yeah. <laughs> which is fucking nuts because Infinity War didn't even beat that. So yeah, I mean, it, it did for its opening weekend, but now it's pre pre-sales. Right. So there was that. Um, the trailer has now the record for most views in the first 24 hours at 289 million views. Hell yeah. Um. Thanos. Let's see, did I pick Q6? Thanos. Um, the. Uh, it's all thanks to Thanos. Everybody's watching this movie for Thanos. Yeah. It's funny because I was refreshing the uh, the uh, Marvel Studios subreddit and it's just people just like, 
especially in like SoCal, they're like, guys, there's like a couple seats open still in like this this theater in in, in Anaheim because everyone because <laughs> the theater's fucking sold the fuck out there. That's funny. Um, it's like a, it's like Amiibos all over again. People were selling like, these tickets for guys, like way too much money over though. There. Go 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 go. People people were trying to sell these tickets for like thousand dollars online. I'm like, grow up, guys. That's oh, not happening. That's literally not gonna happen. I mean, people bought. The she- the says I can never pronounce it. Szechuan fucking- sauce. Yes, Szechuan. Uh, Szechuan sauce. Uh, from Rick and Morty for thousands of dollars. So who fucking knows? <laughs> At least you're getting something if you buy the <laughs> Avengers ticket. Right. You're getting hopefully a good movie. I don't know. Imagine a movie sucks ass. Like it's like horrible. Thanos like like makes liquid farts and like uh, I don't know. Captain America like dies first five minutes. <laughs> of like i don't know like acid reflux it's <laughs> something stupid it's like the worst movie ever it's like this is the culmination it's what you've been building up towards <laughs> iron man dies in space <laughs> <laughs> first 10 minutes he suffocates <laughs> captain marvel nebula. dies hold on she just got introduced yeah well nebula's okay because she's a robot anyway so she could probably just float in space for the rest of the time should i add the free poster on here Right, it's like nine dollars uh, shipping. It. Yeah, you know you have to pay for shipping. The shipping's almost as much as the poster itself, so you might as well just fucking buy the poster separately. Oh, this is like one. You no, know, it's one of the exclusive ones. ones. Yeah, that's what I figured. That sucks because uh, last year is the Infinity War ones. I hated those. They look like shit. Remember I didn't what they mind them. Like? I didn't mind them. I don't like. I didn't like their style. It was just like they're all like weird. You know ones, what? You know? I might not because I remember that I saw this and it does not have Ant Man on it. Oh, fuck. Well, maybe he's on it. He's just really small. No, maybe he's not. not. Nope. Well, you could, how about you buy the poster and you just put a little dot there. And like, there's Ant-Man. There's Ant-Man. Ant-Man! Which, by the way, they should do that. The, yeah, I'm probably going to pass because that... This is the poster and it's like okay, but not $9 okay. That's pretty good. It looks more... Eh, that's still a too Photoshoppy. For yeah, me. that's not $9 It okay. looks good, though. It looks good. I like right, that. Go ahead and cancel that. I like that. That's sexy. You can buy it. Oh no, I'm not buying it. <laughs> Free plus nine dollars shipping. Free nine dollars shipping. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's nine dollar poster. Oh, I didn't hear you say nine dollars. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, if it was a free fucking thing, yeah, no, of course I'll get it. But no, nah. I know, I knew it was gonna cost money, but nine dollars. Yep. Like, like the posters last year were six dollars each. Even that was ridiculous because the posters were small. Nine dollars shipping. Gee, yep. you better get that like the day after you order it. Yeah. Fuck that. Fucking one poster. Yeah, here. Um, poster two weighs like not even half a pound. <sighs> so I was out. Here's a. Oh, also, did you hear about that 22 movie 59 hour marathon they yeah. have going on? It's yeah, gonna be just. Like it's gonna be even a, a more fucked up version of the Age of Ultron one. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> they got about what like eight more movies now. Eight nine more movies. I'm excited because you know we're gonna get part two of whatever the. uh that because there was that good article I think I forget what it was on. You remember that article? Which one? There was oh, art- oh, you mean you mean the one where like he's, t- he's talking about like yeah, going right. to it. <laughs> Day twenty five. <laughs> okay. Oh God. Okay. Thor: The Dark World's on. I could sleep. <laughs> oh, good sleep time. Uh, Cat America, man, Winter Soldier, the best. Oh, I love this movie. Uh, yeah. Whew. <laughs> it's almost over though. Right, no, so I, I, I'm i glad we're, we're going to get another one of those. Ultron, you don't even give a fuck anymore. Like, That's what I was saying. You, it, yeah, everyone's like a zombie at the end, and that place going to smell. But, but by the time you get to to Endgame, you'll be like, I don't even give a fuck. I hope they all die. I hope I die. Like, uh, so the way I would do it is, obviously, people are going to like just skip Captain Marvel and try to try to sleep. Yeah, I mean, it just came out, so that... Hey, not, yeah, you're not still, you can still watch it at any moment. Yeah, you can go to other theaters to play. I, right. I'm sure they'll just put you in the same theater that everybody else is in. Um, but yeah, I, I've almost like I'm not, I'm absolutely not going to because I have no fucking time for no. that. But like a part of me is like not. a part of me is like just morbidly curious of like how yeah, that is. You, you I absolutely, I absolutely again. would not do that at any theater that like the AMC that I go to because I'm, I'd be fucking damned if I'll ever do that in stadium seats. Absolutely not. No, definitely not. If it was like those nice recliner ones, maybe. Yeah. Chill out. I would never do it, but if I if I if I had to be forced to do it, I'd be like, you gotta get some of those recliner seats, bro. Right. I can't sit. I can't sit on these fucking. I, especially with my big ass. I can't fucking sit in these for fifty nine. <laughs> that's sixty hours, pretty much. I can't do that. Who do you think I imagine am? I had, like, imagine they had like trailers for each movie too. 
<laughs> I watched the same fucking stupid ass uh, uh, ugly dolls trailer 22 times. Oh god! Ah, kill me. <laughs> so I was, I was, I want to throw this question at you. Obviously, Endgame is gonna be one of the biggest movies ever. Do you think any movie this year is gonna to top that? Because we have a couple contenders that might, that might. Uh, we'll see how good Star Wars is. The so Star Wars being the obvious one, and I think yeah. it would have been a lot more likely had fucking eight not just like really, really thrown people off. Now, um, what, what do you mean, like just overall better, like just the money it makes being like more, or do you mean like the opening weekend? In general. Just general. Well, I guess we'll see. Opening weekend, I think Endgame 100. percent Yeah, that's what I say. Is Pokemon's definitely one up there, and that's a wild card because. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna do as good. It'll, that, it'll probably get to a billion, maybe. That's a wild card because Avengers is gonna do like. Two well, yeah. And you know, Endgame is 100. percent I think it's being Titanic 100. percent I don't know. I think it. I would put money 100 percent down. Well, it doesn't on matter. Endgame. Avatar's number one. Yeah, I don't think it's being Avatar. People are people are pretty nah. sure about that. I'm like, there's I, that's a, that's a long I mean, way still. I, Infinity War got pretty close it, to Titanic. It's po- I no, I think I think 100% it beats it's Titanic. Like I don't I don't think it beats event, uh, Avatar. If it did, fuck yeah, but uh, I don't think it's doing it. Well, yeah. Um, Pokemon is is interesting because that's gonna do amazing overseas, but it's Detective Pikachu. It has it doesn't say Pokemon on it. It does say Pokemon. This is Pokemon Detective Pikachu on it. Does it like That's in the, the actual plan. trailer? Yeah, I thought I yeah even in the, in the in the trailer, it's a mm. Pokemon smaller, but it's oh. like Pokemon. See, I'm cu- I'm curious yeah. the, whether or not that does anything for it. For I, 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 I don't feel think like it matters. I think they just needed a good starting point because they couldn't just have a kid training Pokemon. Right and now, like, I'm just, I'm curious because I I, like I don't know if could, that. I don't satisfying. think it does as good because it's Detective Pikachu. I think it's gonna do just as good it, as they it, have Pikachu as the. Because yeah, that, that's like what I'm saying. That, that, that's what I was thinking too. Is that yeah, Pikachu is the the hallmark of Pokemon. Yeah. So that that's kind of. Like Ryan a... Reynolds is big. He's not that big, but he's big. You know, they, everybody knows him as Deadpool, and Deadpool makes a lot of money. So just there, and kids see Deadpool. Kids, so, kids love Deadpool. Right. So Star yeah. Wars Episode Nine, Pokemon it, are both up there. What do you think the Lion King is gonna do? Oh, Lion King's gonna be huge. I think that's gonna be bigger than, uh, uh not not Avengers, but uh. Pokemon. I think that's gonna be easily number two. If it if it can't, I think it's even gonna do better than Star Wars. Cause do, you, do you think Be- Beauty and the Beast did huge, but Beauty and the Beast is not as big as Lion King. Lion think... King is probably their most popular 2D movie ever. Do you right think now. Lion King can give Endgame a run for its money? I I don't know about that. We'll have to see, but uh, it's it's think... it's it's possible. Lion King's up there. I think the Lion King will be like 1.5 billion, but I don't know if it's gonna get close to that two two billion. It also matters on how well Chinese audiences. I, I think the Lion I think King. I think it's not like far fetched to say that it will. It, it not that it will, but it's definitely maybe in a possibility. It's definitely a possibility in America. Not, maybe I, I think I think Endgame happen. still wins, but I think all Star Wars, Pokemon, and Lion King are are. Big run for its money, and I it's crazy that Lion Disney King has three of those Star movies. I think Lion King will do better than Star Wars. That's why I say it yeah. should be number two this year. Um, it's because Lion King is just like for everybody. I guess it matters more on how well the movie is, like how how good it is too. If it's a good movie, will, if, if, if it's it is, if it's a great movie, people are gonna come back to see it, just like they did with the original right. Lion King. Like that movie stayed around for a long time because everybody wanted to see it like oh, i'll see it again I'll take the kids again or i'll take the kids the first time or everybody's saying it's great go i'll see, see, the, it go see it with it's the great. chicks go see it with the dicks yeah oh yeah yeah well no that's a that's aladdin i mean that's is that lion king too what you said something about the dick because in aladdin you actually see oh yeah that uh, that's uh aladdin okay what did you say about dicks though no i said because you were talking about seeing the oh seeing bring the game boy with, yeah they're with me, dicks. me with the dicks oh, okay i, I thought you I, I heard disney and dicks so i immediately thought aladdin. i hope we see a giant <laughs> i hope we see, see i hope i hope we see a giant wanger in aladdin dude dude if he if he does not have a big old donger i'm done hey uh so okay so i got one last thing to mention and then we're gonna do box office go ahead and pull box office up right now fuck so i just want to bring up that uh yeah starting I mean, starting even this last week, which is them and, and Pet Cemetery, we're on a, like a hard roll of just there's something out almost every week. Right. There is like no week where there's nothing. So I wanted to list this off because I was showing my friend. Um, so we have Hellboy this week, right? Right. Next week we don't have anything. Nothing really big going on. And and the week after that, obviously we have Avengers. The week yes. after that, nothing. 
which is 100 percent understandable. There's there's you're an idiot yeah. if you release after that. No, no, <laughs> don't do it. A week after that, Detective Pikachu. Okay. After that, John Wick three. Yeah. Then Aladdin and Brightburn. Yes. Then Godzilla, Ma, and Rocket Man. Yeah. And uh, the week that I don't I didn't put anything on, but my friend had to remind me was Dark Phoenix. Yeah. Um, <laughs> the week after that, Men in Black, Shaft, and The Dead Don't Die. Yep. After that, I think it's pretty funny. Is Child's Play in Toy Story Four? <laughs> yeah, I thought that was <laughs> that's like great. Yeah. That's, like, that's gonna be my favorite double feature of you all know, time. Child, <laughs> you, know, you know why? Okay, Toy Story Four had that release date for years, and Child's Play just got made like a few months ago. So we're just like, let's see, when when could we release this? Perfect. <laughs> yeah, so, so right I I am 100 percent doing a double feature of that. That's gonna be yeah, my yeah. favorite double feature ever. I think. Which one are you gonna see first? child's play are you gonna watch toy story 4 to get yourself in the mood for child's play or is it gonna be vice versa you know no i think child's play just to, just to not taint anything in case it's not a good movie you know what oh yeah yeah because there is a there is a, yeah, there's always a possibility yeah. that movies could suck avengers might suck who knows um one thing i want to say though is that you should do a triple feature of those two and john wick because keanu reeves is in toy story 4 so just, uh, if John Wick lasts as a, until as a mystery character, if John Wick lasts five weeks in the theaters, <laughs> oh no, I will. <laughs> It'll um, be number one every week too. <laughs> so the week after that, we have yesterday. Oh yeah. yeah Af- yesterday. After that, Spider Man. Yep. After that, uh, Midsummer and Stuber. After that, The Lion King. Yeah. After that, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Yep. Then we got Hobbs and Shaw. Yeah. Then Scary Story to Tell in the Dark. Yeah. And then that's about it. And then we have like a small break with a week or two until uh, It 2 and Rambo. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And I forgot about Last Blood. Um, but I feel like you missed something there. I probably did. These are the only ones that caught my eye. So there was, I'm sure there's definitely something in there that I... Not, there was some I was just thinking about, too. That I was like, oh, fuck. All right. Well, whatever. Anyway, that, that's that's the list. And we got some good shit <gasps> coming up. Ugly Dolls. <laughs> I, I think uh, I didn't, Ugly I, Dolls and, is a week after Avengers. Yeah, it is. All right, so there you go. You got that. And then um, <laughs> it just bring you down a little bit. And then after scary stories to tell the dark was uh, Angry Birds two. Oh, there you go. That's another one. Okay, I wasn't thinking that, but I thought there was like something else. Like I was, th- I was thinking of something stupid, and that's what. <laughs> like, yeah, no, a I, stupid movie I even out, like, didn't. I didn't include Black Dark Phoenix in here, so. Oh, yeah. well, Dark Phoenix might be. Okay. Yeah, so that's why. Anyway, yeah, all right. Dark Phoenix, I'm interested in because of all the back, like the all the the the. Production. screenings yeah. and stuff like that that have been going on. I'm just interested now to see how bad it is. Anyway. Alright, so give us box office to get the fuck out of here. Alright. Uh, oh man, nothing made money this weekend. Oh shit. Oh shit. I think oh, Hollywood's fuck. done. You, uh, cancel the release schedule. Put Avengers in the in the garbage. Just put, just, just put it out. Just stealth release it. <laughs> stealth release it. It's out today. Yeah, it was out last week. <laughs> Marvel just put it on like some YouTube channel. Put on, they put it on Crackle. <laughs> yeah, that's the same. That's actually worse than just some random YouTube channel. <laughs> uh, all right, so top ten. Not much to talk about. How to Train Your Dragon still there? Number ten. Wonder Park. It's almost done. It's almost done, Gore. <laughs> yeah, we're we're almost at the over. end of the tunnel. <laughs> Wonder Park's almost over. Uh, Unplanned, which is that fucking abortion religious movie. Uh, Okay, number seven, five feet apart. That's almost gone too. Actually, no, it's like number seven, so it'll probably be there next fucking week. Um, number six is Best of Enemies, which is like the, it's the civil rights movie. I think it's a civil it? war. It's, it's a civil war. Movie. <laughs> it's, no, it's a civil rights movie about a like a, a clan, uh, like the the leader of the the clan and a bl- like just a black mother that wants to. I think I've heard of it. Get her kids into like just white school they just like have a you know right. uh, what's the word <laughs> say seg- normal seg- life segregation segregation there you go seg segret <laughs> i was trying to say it's too late for this um it, it didn't do too well I told you yeah, we had a good somehow. podcast it's almost two hours long yeah no it shouldn't be should uh, number five <laughs> number five is cat marvel uh that keeps dropping very small percentages every week. So good, at, good for it. It's well, where, where is that on track versus Black Panther? <gasps> I forgot. It crossed a billion this week. Oh yeah. It is at one point zero thirty seven billion. Where's it? Billion. Where's that domestically? Ah. Uh, where's the 
374 right now. Uh, it's not it's not being Black Panther here. No, 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 no. I was no. curious as to where it was compared to Black Panther. Mm -mm, mm -mm. It might beat it worldwide because Black Panther wasn't as big. World. Uh, yeah, no, worldwide. America carried the fuck out of that movie. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, no, it, it still did really. Yeah, well no, I did well, work. but but it fucking yeah. did gangbusters here. It did, it's, it did better than most Marvel movies did, uh, foreign wise. But uh, yeah, uh, number four is us. That dropped pretty hard in its third week, fifty eight percent. Understandable. Uh, Pet Cemetery. As 152, yeah, I said that last week too. That it probably dropped too because of Pet Cemetery. Um, but it made 152 million on like a 45 dollar budget. Yep. So did you hear that Jordan Peele is going to do five social? He well, he said including Get Out and Us, he's going to do five social thrillers. Oh boy, is this next one going to be like unfriended? Someone, someone thought of the cute idea that uh, they hope that all the movies together are going to spell uh some sort of phrase out. Get out us. That's already ruined. <laughs> no, 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 but, like, like not spell out. Like oh, you if you, like, mix it around, it would make right. a, a sense. Yeah. All right. Get a, get us out. Of here. Of here. Of his next. He, he and then, er. <laughs> there you go. He and then, oh. re. Re. Get us out of here. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait for re and, and, and fucking Jordan Peele's like, no, it's re. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, no. It's, anyway, that made over $200 million worldwide so far on a 48, uh, Nichols budget. Good for that though. Good for that. Good for Jordan How much Peele. is forty eight nickels? Five dollars. It's pretty good. It's five dollars. It's, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's uh it's two dollars and twenty. So cents. what's third? Okay, is it? Two dollars and forty cents. Yeah. Yeah. Uh I think yeah, uh, fuck it. I don't care. Uh all right, number three is Dumbo. That dropped hard in the second weekend, 60%. Nobody gives a fuck about that big eared freak. Um, <laughs> whatever, he's not real. Look <laughs> shit. Number two is Pet Cemetery. Uh, did okay. It only cost like $21 million to make. So it cost uh, that much and it made 25. So oh, yeah, it's already we, made it wins. 40 million extra than it needed. And actually, I think it's doing pretty well foreign. So yeah, it's like right now it's at 42 million so far, which is pretty good for a horror movie. Um, so I'm sure we'll hold in there for a little while. There's no real horror movies until the curse of whatever the fuck your name is, which is mm, la, la, la. you don't even know how to say it. Uh, ya, la Llorona. La, 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 la. Yo. Oh, and then you got the, the two L's are the R, a Y and then the R is a D. Llorona. The weeping woman. <laughs> Just call <called> that. <laughs> so when, when does that come out? That's the week after Avengers or the week before? I think it's a week before. So next week. No, it's the, it's after Hellboy. So two yeah, weeks. so this week is Hellboy. Oh, next well, week yeah, is... I guess next week technically. Yeah. yeah. But not this weekend. Um, uh, number one is uh, Shawam, which made four hundred no fifty three million dollars this weekend, which is way more than people thought it would make. Most people thought it was going to do like forty, I think. So it made more than everybody said it would. Uh, technically, it made fifty, almost fifty-seven million, because it counts the money that it made during that early screening right. that happened a couple weeks ago. Um, but fifty-three for the weekend. Good for that. Uh, and it says a hundred million dollar budget on Box Office Mojo, but I keep hearing eighty and ninety. I keep hearing all three of those: eighty, ninety, and hundred. So and let's just say a hundred. Even for a hundred, it already made one hundred fifty something million dollars worldwide. And it, it's, it, I'm sure it's going to hold pretty well here because people are really liking it. So. Uh, I think I think it's gonna I think it's gonna be a good uh good money maker for them. It's not gonna be their biggest movie. It's not gonna be Aquaman, that's for sure. Um, but it it'll probably do Ant Man business. I think that's like the same Ant Man money. Uh, yeah, yeah. So it'll right. probably do Ant Man. It'll do Ant Man. Um, side note, and I totally forgot about saying this was uh there was a small story that Netflix was developing an Alice in Wonderland and Wizard of Oz crossover. Did you ever hear about that? What? I don't why? get why. <laughs> it's not even like the same thing. Like one, I mean, they're gonna like try. Weird, they're gonna try to do but... some like weird, dreamy shit with it. Yeah, I get it. But they're both weird. But I, I, Alice is way weirder than fucking Oz. <laughs> like, I, I mean, they can make Oz weird. I mean, Scarecrow and Tin Man, sure, but that's they're gonna, not like they're gonna Alice, need to make. They're Alice gonna need where there's a caterpillar smoking pot. Like, right, they're gonna like... need to like up fucking your, the weirdness in Oz. But uh, Dude, I, 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 that wasn't really a big story. But I just wanted to mention that just for in passing. Yeah. So anyway, that's your Shazam news right there. All right. Cool. Shazam, box office, baby. It won. It won. I it don't want to be wins. buried in a pet cemetery. That was a song at the end. They had that song in the original. It was from the Ramones. 
uh, and they did a cover of it in the new one at the end of the credits. And I had my cousin with me. He was like 11. He wanted to see it. Um, and I told him we're staying the fuck here because I want to listen to this entire song because it was a cover. You hate of that. music. Yeah, it was. I had to listen to it. He thought I wanted to stay there because he thought it was gonna be like some Avengers style fucking like <laughs> after credits scene. I was like, oh yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> God, God forbid these kids these days know about a movie just like not having anything at the end. He asked me that for every movie, every movie we see. You know and what? So, to and, be fair, I, I, as soon as the movie's over, it? I look up on on, on Google. Does this movie yeah. have a, a, a uh, end credits? Just to... yeah, because sometimes they like weird ones do. Like I remember seeing the Ratchet and Clank movie. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody was in the theater, and I was like, I'll wait around, I guess. And then there was something at the end. I was like. Fuck what the you. fuck movie had an end credits that it was weird, like a weird one? Oh, um, Disaster Artist. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I, I had, I, I, my, one of my friends was actually in the theater too. I saw him passing by, and he was about to walk out, and I was like, "Yo, hey, what's up?" I was like, "As end credits." <laughs> Oh, okay. like, oh shit! And a few, a few people around me heard like, oh shit, there is, and I, I, I was like, it'd be funny if it did, did it actually have one. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> no, I thought, I, you know, immediately what you, when you said that reminded me of uh, that scene from A Star Is Born. I thought you were gonna do that. He's like, yo, he's like, what? I just want to take another look at you. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful bitch. Oh yeah. All right. Anyway, this this podcast is over. Go. Fuck off. <laughs> Dude, you were worried about it not having any content. Well, we, we should have talked about all this shit for way less. <laughs> and I also, I didn't know you were going to talk about fucking Avengers tickets and uh, what was I the told you. releases and shit. So. Yeah, I told you, I got this. I, I know what I'm doing. Yeah, Even sure. though I would love this podcast was only like 45 minutes this week because I got a lot yeah, of shit I, to do I, still. I, I, I thought it was going to be an hour. <laughs> but now it's... Still you guys, you guys always months. doubt me, but I'm telling you, I could fill a fucking podcast up for five days, dude. Yeah, I know you can fill a bullshit, in a fucking <laughs> you have ten pounds of bullshit in a two pound bag. Goodbye, everyone. <laughs> That's like an old hillbilly saying.